is why I would say it's not, you know, technically safe. And you know, every time I stopped on the drive here, I would frantically check my phone, like, is it in the air? Is it in the air? Did they do it yet? And then it would be like an excruciating hour and a half or two hours before I could check again. So, yeah. All right. I know I just got through saying, like, oh, how you should eat healthy, but I want to see this. So I have my, we have the plan. Just need some Mountain Dew. Shady, that would indeed yeah, suck, I'll but... Tell you one thing. But the amount of chat there was, because we had a lot of people in... Yeah, it's Night Hound, it's close. It re I think that is um, praise to the community right now, because most people are just fun and enjoying it, and get the turn of what's happening here, which is exciting. Doritos! It's something different, it's something futuristic. No, it's a I couldn't get a clip. Let's not forget that when Elon first mentioned the idea of chopsticks on a Mechazilla system, we weren't entirely sure. Let's get comfy, dudes. Funny on, funny on Twitter. You have like orange chicken beat that? I did, with for Doritos. Return, for returning dragons. It, it's something that's now real, and we're watching it real live now. It's, oh, it's yeah. surreal, it really is. I just yeah, we're not playing Finland Simulator anymore. Let's uh, go. What you said, Crispy, is that we are essentially doing the same thing all of you viewers are doing. <laughs> Where we are yeah. fretting over, are they raising, are they not? We look at the feeds. We look We look at, you know, outside with our Mark 1 eyeballs. Thank you, Das, for the cool way to refer to your eyes. Uh, and we are hoping that these things are lifting, and it looks like they are now. So, uh, again, to, to reiterate what was mentioned earlier, this thing could go up slowly. It could go up quickly. It could go up and then come down it could you know there's a number of different things we could see they could encounter an issue as they lift um it could ju they could just go straight up but take a really long time why are you eating my kerbal ssdo certainly looks like we are getting into it here in starbase please let please let me sleep soon please yeah there's right a, the presentation's tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I, I don't think that's going to work because we've just made a call here in the back channel, and instead of just piping our audio here into Starbase Live, we are going to go live with a full-blown commentated stream. It's going to be a separate stream link here on YouTube, y'all. Um, you'll be able to join both of them. We'll be showing different views on both streams. Of course, Starbase Live will have most of these cameras. Try to keep them pretty stable so you can A-B test. <laughs> so I can scroll forward so you can see if it's moving. And on the commentator stream, we may use the cameras a little bit differently and uh, point things out and that sort of thing. But there is going to be a dedicated commentary stream. That link is being put into chat right now. Yep. We're going to uh, we posted it or, or we've, uh, we'll get a link like pinned up to the top of the channel. You can join both. You could join either one, whichever one, if you want to uh, listen to the sound of I agree, running Kyron. your mouth for 14 hours straight while we see a starship hover three inches off the ground. Hey, come on over to the other stream. Um, if you want to be here and listen to the sound of the wind and waves, uh, you can stay here on Starbase Live as well. What was that, Jack? Go ahead. I vote they, they watch both on multiple devices, so it's like multiple concurrent. Okay, yeah, that's, that's my humble suggestion. Yes, go buy a second monitor just to put both streams on. No, 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 second computer. We need multiple IPs here. Oh, okay. Get the view count up then. <laughs> How about we save some of this commentary for the 14-hour stream we're going to have to do here? Um, I think Michael is ready to go on that other stream. And if you want to hear the intro music, now it's... Got the commentary stream open. YouTube chat. <laughs> What a fun night. Ian, is that your buttery smooth voice that I heard over there? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. Going to relive? Hell yeah, man. Good luck with your live stream. We're going to be chilling over here, dude. Are we B 
bing jilling. We are very bing jilling. Discovery, go at throttle up. Mid you summer! Thanks for the sub. Ah, oh, yes. That was a good day. We have lift off. Propulsion continues to be normal. I think the camera pressure looks good. Traveling up. Word. Oh. Yikes. You bet. Okay. We don't need any more of these. Yeah, Klein. All yep. right, folks. John Galloway for NASA Spaceflight here. We have finally made the call that we are going to start a commentated stream. If you're over on Starbase Live, our 24-7 Starbase channel, you may have already heard the sound of our voice, I won't say dulcet tones, but we are here, and the title of the stream says SpaceX stacks Starship onto Super Heavy with chopsticks. Um, we have already seen that the Starship has made a little bit of vertical motion. We've seen, I guess, night lights. We've seen a gap underneath the Starship, and right now it looks like the entire load of the Starship is resting on the chopsticks. So the NASA Space Flight Team is here with you. <laughs> until something happens to ship 20 and the chopsticks and booster four we've got a lot of people in the yep. studio here with us today yeah thomas she uh, pivoted all the way up at the top with adrian adrian how are you doing i'm doing fantastic and it's so cool to see these chopsticks getting used to stack how many hours are they do, you up for today are you here for like eight that's worked for hours? nsf um like i I, I need to go to work in like four hours so that's, okay. that's my limit. <laughs> Thanks. We'll put you down for four hours. We appreciate you, Adrian. Um, you've heard Adrian <laughs> on the streams before. Also here in the chat. Benno, Starship's Chris off the ground, Berg dude. Chris, Look. How are you doing? See? I'm right here? See this gap? Yeah, I'm on adrenaline more than anything else. But right here? Yeah, it's, um, She's floating. And then they just it's moved it to one side. It's a lot of hours we're doing this, but it's worthwhile, especially when we see Ship 20 on top of Booster 4 by the morning. Excellent. How many hours can I put you down for? Uh, the next 10 minutes, at least. <laughs> The next 10 minutes. Wow, yeah. really pull yeah, out someone, the look. there, Chris. No, till, um, till, till five, she's off the uh, ground. the top of the hour. By a couple of feet. <laughs> hey, also, right over here? there watching from the NSF Media Chalet, we've got uh, Chris Gebhardt, I'd say on site, eh, across the ship channel, whichever way you want to call it. Chris, how are you doing this evening? From the NSF Chalet. Yeah. Greetings, everyone. I yes, I Laz, uh, doing probably doing like 30 doing. minutes. I'm glad I made it here to see the stack as much as I really wish for all of you it would have lifted earlier. You just drove all the way in from Florida, right? I did indeed, yes. All the way across the Gulf. That is what... I mean, Teslas are very impressive, but they didn't go, like, actually in the Gulf, right? You took roads. I took roads. I mean, they're not there yet. No, no. Yeah, no, Benno, I don't yet, think no. so. <laughs> hey, also, we've got Mr. Ian Atkinson with us. You hear Ian's voice in all those update videos, those narrated update videos we put out on occasion. Ian, how are you doing this fine evening? I am doing great and ready to see maybe some chopstick action, question mark. Like, there's a slight amount of chopstick action, like chopstick tensioning, chopstick torsioning. I mean, we've already seen them move a little bit, so I think it's a pretty safe bet to say something's going on. Yeah, and, we've at least seen something tonight. Yep. And uh, lastly here, we've got Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack Byer, how are you doing? I'm doing. Um, it, I mean, Ian said we, he hopes we see some chopstick action. We're seeing it. This is it. This is as much action as we are going to see so far. Dude, anyways. I'm eagle eyeing this thing. It's off the thing. It's off the thing. We've been waiting for a day now, like maybe more. It is off the transporter, so it's doing it. It's doing the thing now. Yay! I don't know if I sound sleep addled or deprived, but hooray! It's it's doing the thing. Rip well, Jack is out. Say, Go ahead, Ian. You could almost say that Adrian. an increase in action would be bad at this point because if if the action increases, that might be. Someone, I have no idea. That's what we want. I have no idea how they're going to do that, that Adrian, with, with Starship. Either. I can't figure that, that one out. Um, <laughs> Jack is out there as well, so Jack is on site at Boca. Of course, uh, Nick and Mary are already out there, our normal Starbase photographers, of course. And uh, lastly, in Something the back like that, channel, we know we've got Michael Baylor 
clicking Why on all the things Starship making all the lights too? blink correctly. Don't know if we have them on comms. Michael, were you going to say hi? Hi. How's it going, everyone? And I'm hoping we're going to be in bed in a couple of hours. So I want fast chopsticks today. Fast <laughs> chopstick action. Nice. <laughs> Hang um, on. They lost comms. Already pee drop. One second. At least I assume you can't hear us in chat. No one said anything yet. Yeah, 95. Uh huh. One way to find out. <laughs> chat, is can the, you hear is us? Is the stream still live? Is it buffering? If, if, you, if chat can hear us, where are you watching from? Yeah, 5x5s. Five <laughs> yeah, right, I saw it, dude. Here, look. Oh, you can't see it at the start of the live stream. Hold on. Let me go over here. It pivoted to one side. I can't find the exact spot. Oh, there it is. Well, that showed it. Right here. Scroll back over here. All right? So, watch. Let me hit the live button. You'll see the movement. See? It went up and to the left. Or up and to the right. That's right, you heard, right? Everybody's there. <laughs> All I can think uh, about is Ian jamming a USB plug in the wrong way. It's like giving me nightmares. Why would you say that, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. There's a the the um. The two arms have a pivot, and the pivot point of the arm is like the end of my thumbs, right? They're on top of each other, so they're like this. See what I'm talking about? What? Sorry. Zoltan! Yeah. The vivid. The bit, bit, bit. The pivots are all in the same spot, dude. Um, kind of DJ, but not really. I agree, Cor. So when is this thing officially going to launch with humans? <laughs> uh, yeah, brain freeze. That's going to take a while, dude. Airborne. Introduced. This is as much as I know we wanted this to go fast. This. How this much extra weight did the tiles add? To be a very methodical process the first time they do this with. They're pretty light, dude. On the arms. They have the consistency yeah, of styrofoam, so Again, not that much. To let you know where we are right now, we are live with a commentary stream. If you're just joining us, I'm going to repeat this because people keep coming in and coming in. They're like, "What's going on?" Um, Starship. Starship. Starship, I can say just Starship and not say the number. Or we could say Ship 20 is in the air right now. There is clearance. It's not daylight. Maybe it's DJ. Night. Um, but there it's is. It's going up. It's going up. Oh. Look at Booster 4. There it is. Lifting. Look at that. Boost, look you at can that. See it moving. Speedy. Wow. Yeah, and look oh, how that's fast, fast it's moving, too. Uh, especially the. the Bro! The Bro! Oh, this is so down. worth it. Look at that thing. Left side as it goes up. Holy that. balls! We're gonna, we're gonna need you to continue to uh, to sort of lay the foundation of expectations so that they can be defied. Uh, no way! Going. Right now we're two for two, so please continue to like say something right now about how it's going to go so fast and we'll all be in bed, <laughs> snugly and warm in like 30 minutes. How about that? I'm <laughs> well, I'm okay I hate to agree with you, Jack, but it stopped moving when you said that. <laughs> So, oh, Jack, you stop talking. <laughs> and Look at this. No, it's still maybe, going. It's still going. It is still, still going. going, yeah. 
Maybe it's powered by our so, excitement. So, okay, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's power Fellas, it's hard to look like over here. Watch watch this, where you get really big contrast. Watch the tracks. The tracks are a good way to tell if it's moving. Oh, that's so goddamn cool, dude. Holy balls, that's cool. Triangular stabilizers sort of lean in and grab not really the waist of the starship, but not the midpoint of the starship there. That is fully being lifted for the first time ever by the chopsticks. And what we and what, and what I was saying earlier too about like all Dude, that, really that is stuff so happened. cool. That was the precursor. Look at how quick it's going, Prey. You nailed you called it, man. They're going for it, dude. Usually go very quickly because it's just a matter of Lift, translate over, ease down, right? This is so, slow mode launch yeah, simulation, bro. Do you see, see that, dude? That's, that's so cool. That shot. Oh my oh, goodness. Right on the right hand side of the screen right now of the. Oh Look at gosh. that! The, oh, wow. The, that looks, that looks so. Wow. That looks so wrong because I'm used to seeing Starship on the pad or on the ground, and there's just nothing underneath uh -huh. it. It's just going. There's no crane lifting it. It's what? working! It's, it's so working! It's scale here because, because yeah. you only see big things next to it right now. And it, then you remember how big this thing really is and what is happening here. Well, and, and, and even more so, Adrian, to what you were saying, what, what is happening here. You know, they're, they're as excited as this, that, as this is to see, right, because of the potential of what Starship offers. What is also incredibly important to remember is that we are watching our lunar return vehicle get stacked for the very well get stacked for the second time um here at starbase like th this is the vehicle that will land humans on the moon as part of the artemis program for the first time in nearly 50 years that's yeah. part of that that's the huge part of this right the, the, the coolness the display the optics the trampoline is evolving it is <laughs> yes is building toward that that should not and, and cannot be lost here today yeah. can i jump Please. off that chris there's a very relevant yeah. point right there. scary this launch tower was built in no time it was prefabricated and built in no time and it can cope Damn with right. different kinds of changes elon made to bring into the starship system yeah the drones the down there stuck in the vehicle guys i just want to point out i always say i want to point out scale That ship is 15 stories tall. It's 150 feet. Somewhere hovering between 40 and 50 meters. It is a big ship. 30 feet, 30 feet wide. 9 meter core diameter. 30 feet wide, 150 feet tall. That is absurd. It's so cool, Prey. Right, Elfish, right? Right, Gizmo? We need to play Lion King. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> That's awesome. I, to ideally one day carry crew, right? There's got to be just a water tank. <laughs> of some kind. But the arms just sort of seem to come out of the glue, right? And and now we're watching that tower we knew had to be here lift this lift The this quick disconnect is the halfway point. Booster 4. It looks like we I know, saw Jonathan, the right? drone going up, kind of matching the pace of the ship going up, which is really fast. This is a lot <laughs> faster than I expected. So the it quick really is, it's, yeah. it's actually getting close to the QDR. The quick disconnect, like Ian was just saying there, that's halfway up the tower. This thing is going all the way to the top. On this thing, normally with these so. sort of lifts, we see tag lines and thus people, you know handling those on the ground this looks like a completely free lift with the chopsticks by itself i yeah i'm wondering if there's just like nobody out Hello, there right now as like a safety precaution and why am i nervous i, so I don't know man i'm a little first, um active or useful lift of the chopsticks and yeah if you have it mounted in place the, the chopsticks should be designed so that when you rotate it into place it will drop it exactly on the booster and yeah it, it seems like that's what we're going to get because sn20 upskirt let me say right yeah, I feel like uh, yeah, what helps with this is the two tape dude. stabilizers on the left and the right side <laughs> of the top of the man. that you can that see actually right now in this, uh, in this angle. Yeah, right, Scary, it's the true. main chopstick, these two stabilizers that help oh, to good girl. stabilize the vehicle on its way up. So basically a tagline included. Yep, there is an Elon tweet. We're working on getting that on the screen right now. Yeah. 
And, and Adrian, exactly what you were just saying, um, picking up off of what da, uh, picking up off of what Jack said, th those stabilization arms. The, the interesting thing I'm I'm curious about is how much <laughs> of what you're seeing in terms of those stabilization arms are because it's first time, so no, you're being a bit more conservative, That's so right, cool. in, in how you're doing it, because <laughs> having to attach those and unattach those things oh, would strike man. me as a you know maybe it's necessary, maybe maybe it's a necessary evil as you would say of the system, but. It would also be interesting to see if eventually those go away for timeline considerations in being able to rapidly turn these vehicles around. That's a good question. I I sort of I just expect them to to exist. They kind of make sense to me to have four points of contact, and then you can sort of wiggle the ship. <laughs> can as we build it, it in Gatsby? Yeah, dude, I don't know, know if I can make this in Gatsby, man. They do or don't, but. This thing is cooking up the tower. This is way faster than I expected. Look at that. Uh, it's it a massive top of Booster Four now. Yeah. Right, Elvis, you saw him too, right? Around the top of it. And Jack, actually, what you just said about those stabilization points it brought up another thought in my mind, um, <laughs> where we know Dude, they plan to reuse been... the boosters I am... quicker than they plan my to face reuse the ships. So maybe and not comprehend what's going on, man. That's pretty awesome. But because the ships might be used once a day, it's not that big of a deal versus the boosters that are designed. Of course, so, Arp. So Bro, do you see that? A day or something like that for the boosters, ideally. You know how heavy that thing is? I, I it's ridiculous. Get the fact that the chopsticks are just about ready to clear the top of the booster. Yeah, this was so fast. This is awesome. Like, this is shocking to me because I was expecting them to go up maybe like a foot or two. I, I need a beer. A few meters I need a beer. Tower, but they're Guys, just I need, I need a brew. This yeah. is too and good. Is I need a brew. Of ship I need a brew. Uh, about one, metric tons of ship? 110 tons dry, 120 approximately. Yeah. So, I mean, that is how much mass wow. is Look being translated up the tower that. right now. <laughs> I mean, wow. the tip of the ship is now taller than the top of the booster. Like, the flaps have almost cleared the top. I think the flaps have cleared the top of the booster because the top of the chopsticks have cleared the top of the booster. This is what? it. We're just not messing around. What are we and, looking and at know. here? Look at this. Well, I've lost all sense of normal comedy. That is one of the coolest right things wow, I've ever that. seen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, just I'm, a bunch of fanboys right now. Screaming. Right, yeah. screaming. <laughs> screaming. I, I I'm glad I have pushed to talk on. Well, I think I have an answer for what was this like. I mean, this is this is like seeing Apollo 4 for the first time. The very Agreed. first Saturn V. That, um, well said, Chris. When it rolled out of the VAB. I mean, this is the equivalent of, of seeing that um, for the first time. Yeah, and the the thing is, like, this is so much more different than what we saw last August with the quick fit with the quick fit check, because with that, these vehicles were essentially boilerplates. They were nowhere near ready for even basic testing. And now we have a vehicle. A this ain't the white plug, Not only boy. proofing, but I brought the good fires, stuff out. Several static fires of all six engines. We are looking at almost flight capable vehicles. And we... th that that's unreal. And actually, Sorry Jack, Jack you, just man. reminded us that you know we we Jack and I were inside, and it's like, oh right, we should go outside and actually watch. They it. lifted the booster <laughs> with the crane, so real quick, uh, we actually chopsticks have a tweet. for the. Of course, Elon just a couple minutes ago put out a tweet of a lot of cameras here that are looking up there. It said tower arms are lifting Starship onto the super heavy booster, and if we enhance that picture a little bit, um, big in it. you can actually see. Their camera views look up under thick. the bottom of Starship. Three of the Dummy vacuum thick. raptors, three of the sea level raptors underneath the ship 20 there. Go ahead, Jack. Can I point something out about this? Uh, note, there, uh, these are, this is a photo of a monitor of, looks like, you know, remote cameras at the pad. So, this is not like an Elon tweet of a photo that a worker or he took while at the pad that we have seen before for previous such events. This is clearly like a shot of a monitor with like security Starship's cameras, now about cameras, or what have you. The chopsticks so probably about 400 feet more, off the ground, more guys. Thinking along the lines of for our metric friends, uh, must just be clear down there. 100, 120 meters without anybody. Do we? Uh, oh Elon, God, can we pipe these feeds in? <laughs> yeah. It's like but Elon, I, hey, learned... you want more cameras? <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Adrian. What, what I learned from... I don't know, weather guy. He should make sure that that I mean, maybe. Uh, Jim, you seeing this, dude? Uh, that is the wildest thing I've so ever seen. Angles there. Uh, That's what I learned from that. Guys, those, those arms are like... There's double cameras on Starbase Live sometimes. It happens. No how do you get that, how do you get that to work and not yeah, fine? Yeah, That's what's blowing my mind, dudes. See, the, see, these, see these pulleys right here? The tower has a pulley up at the top, and 
uh, there's wires that go down the tower and they go down to an electric winch down here. There's big electric winches in the bottom of this thing and they're pulling. They're, they're pulling the pulleys, right? That's what makes this thing go up and down. It's like an elevator, right? Living it up when you're going down. Um, so that thing is lifting the thing and th this thing right here, the carriage is on, there's just wheels and the sides of the tower, there was wheels inside of here. They're called linear bearings. And then the sides of the tower, the posts of the tower are the tracks. The fact that they can lift this thing and not have this thing like bind up in one way or another is fascinating. That is, that, that's impossible. It, not impossible, because uh, it's obviously happening on the screen, but it's ridiculous. Looks like they stopped for a second. Of course, Mason, yes. Hey, Forge, you seeing this? It looks like they held for a second. The arm, yeah, it's they, both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that some sort of, like, mega drone flying by? Like, what is that? There's a really bright light up there. There is, yeah, that is one of the drones, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So what's going to be what's going to be double boxed to it. me, you know, so, so we see right, when I double boxed here, it again, pausing is not it, it's good to talk about this. Pausing Why are they doing this in the dark? A sign. I don't know, man. I guess they got it's enough lights. I suppose it's not a big deal other than, hey, they got to this particular point. Maybe there's something they need to do with the arm. Maybe there's something they need to do. with yeah. the System to start. Yeah, scary, transition. right? Yeah. You know, from the lift to the translation, maybe they're getting maybe it's literally a photo op um, because that's Part of that is that's that that's this, right? that's ridiculous man um, that is ridiculous but, but what we're going to be seeing as we go through the evening here as, as they go to stack just because they stop doesn't necessarily mean there's an issue with the system it might just mean they're stopping to do diligence or look at something or hey it's time to switch over from option operation a to you know operation what? b and i don't mean to talk over chris because chris is awesome his commentary is fantastic but guys all they did was move Starship to the pad. They just moved this next to the chopsticks. I want, I want to be very clear. This thing automatically picked up Starship. They didn't have, like, guys go up there and bolt something to it. We've been watching this all freaking day. They moved Starship into position. And then I, 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 want, to, I want to be very clear. This The chopsticks, you know, Starship was moved into the chopsticks. The chopsticks move into position. They automatically picked up on the on the on the pickup points, and then they close the lower they close the lower arms right there. These ones on the side, those automatically attach themselves, and then this thing lifted it up. I, do you know how ridiculous that is? It picked it up by itself. It freaking picked it up by itself. No guys out there, no guys up there with like a tagline or holding a bolt together. This thing found like a parked starship next to it, and this thing moved into position, they moved the arms into position, and it locked in. And then they lifted it. That's nuts. That is absurd. Way faster, Rocket Man. How does the pickup points align? That's what I'm saying, Mab. It automatically found it. That, oh my god, that's so ridiculous, dude. How does that even happen? I don't know, Jackal. Discovery, go at throttle up. Remote control is the right way to do it, is the right way to say it, Kiosk. But still, remote control is absurd. No. No one puts together a rocket like that. Nobody. <laughs> That is so nuts, dude. Beth, you seeing this? Babble, probably doing it at night, so all the metal on Starship and the booster aren't hot and warped. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's probably a good good call. I I would guess so, Harp, yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a roller coaster firework, yeah. Can Starship be placed onto the booster without being fueled and pressurized? Yes! I think that's what they're going to do next, Aces. She's going again. She's moving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Arctur. Yensid, that is the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen. Okay, third coolest thing. Starlink Train and Falcon Heavy Landing are the 
are the first two. That's that's definitely up there. That is wild. I can't believe that. Thing. I can't believe that. Because that thing's 50 meters tall, 9 meters wide. And it's about 100 how about it's about 100 meters up in the air. And with no rocket engines on. Jensen, I can't believe it. Look at how fast it's going. All right, look. Look. Watch right here. That's a good indicator of how fast this thing is going. These be, the distance between levels on the fixed service structure here, or the orbital tower, that's two stories right there. So it's about, actually, no, it's, it's more like three. It's about 30 feet. Bruce, they lifted Starship, dude. They lifted Starship, and they're going to crown the booster here. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I, I, dude. I'm speechless. It should start to turn now. They should start turning the thing. Discovery, go at throttle up. It's not gonna launch. They're getting it ready for tomorrow's Starship presentation. They might isolate, isolate the lift and then rotate. Okay, Devin. Dude, Dev, that's that's insane. That is that is insane. I, I can't, dude. I have no words. Arc sign, it should be able to lock it in automatically, which is unbelievably cool. Yeah, that's the whole point, to, to optimize the process. Yeah, Thomas, I hear you. Would love to be sitting at my desk watching the readouts. Dude, I don't, yeah, I don't blame you. So Devlin, you think you think they're gonna rotate it? No, I'm I'm wide awake, dude. I hope so, Bith. QD arm, then rotate. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. How does it grip onto it without crushing it? There's Arcturic moves up next to it, and then there's two bars, right, that extend out from the chopsticks, and then there's two plugs on the sides of Starship, and the bars go into the plug, and then they lift it. Dude, it, it, I'm, I'm telling you, and it did it by itself. That thing, that thing picked that thing up without any humans physically going and touching the vehicle. Dude, that is that is unheard of. That is unheard of in space. Like no one's done that ever. I I can I, I dude, I've spent way too much time reading about spaceflight history. I know I can tell you for a fact, no one's ever done that with a spaceship. Ever. Ever. And no one's ever tried to automate an integration process. Ever. SpaceX is the first one to do that. No one's ever done that. It's always a bunch of guys with taglines, and then they bring the stage down into position. They slip it onto its hold down points and a bunch of guys ratchet strap the thing down. Not ratchet strap, but you get the idea. No one is... That thing automatically picked up Starship. That is unbelievable. Bruh, let me see. What's the tweet? What's the tweet? What's the tweet? Like, words cannot express how ridiculous that actually is. Well, Bith, you wanted some drone shots. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
Yep. These pins have to rotate to get that thing over there. So uh, how did you become a drone pilot for SpaceX? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How does it rotate? Um, so the, the there's two arms factor. That's a good question. I'll draw it out for you guys, right? So you have the oh, you have the catch tower, right? Like this, and the catch tower has the the bars on the end, right? These are the posts, right? Actually, we gotta I gotta draw it draw it a little bit better, right? And then you have your carriage. The carriage is right here. It's it's L-shaped like that, right? So the carriage is right here. And then there's a central pivot point like this. And both of the arms go like this. So how do they attach? If this is the top of the hinge right here, and that's the bottom of the hinge right here, one of the arms is like this, right? Right, there's one arm, and then the other one is like this. They're both on the same pivot point. The idea is that the arm has about 120 degrees of rotation in both directions. So if the pad with the booster is right here, they picked up Starship when it was over in this position, and these things can just pivot. So right now, it looks like this. And then they'll move it into position over, over the pad. Is that wild? That's crazy, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. It might harp. Who knows? Now, don't get me wrong. When I say it automatically picked it up, dude, I mean there's people in mission control that are telling it, telling the pad to do things. It's not like total automation. But, guys, the fact that mission control is integrating a booster from mission control is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That no one, no one ever, not even SpaceX right now launches rockets like that. No one does that. Nobody. No one's ever integrated a booster from Mission Control. That doesn't work that way. That's a live starship, W. That's Ship 20, man. It has Raptors. It has six Raptors on it. Why don't we just pick up the rocket and put it over there? The whole entire industry and a good chunk of the general public that is aware of such things sort of going would align on the first try we're gonna find out lazy aren't we i mean i'm guilty as charged when we found out via those tweets that we're talking about that they were going to catch ships and boosters with twiggy arms sticking off a massive tower i was like that doesn't make any sense i don't know how to see it it doesn't work and the fact that they parked this thing in front of the chopsticks and it picked it up, dude, we've been watching it all day. No humans went near it. Humans were dancing around on the quick disconnect, right? They were messing around with the QD. We never saw anyone go near the chopsticks or Starship, like up here at the attachment point. It automatically attached. That is nuts. That is nuts. Right, proof? Yeah. They're doing it. They're proving us wrong, or proving me wrong, at least in this case, and and showing like, look, it's easy. We we just doing it, no problem. And it's just, I, I'm almost I'm almost speechless because it's really cool to. Jazos, the top of the the top of the um. Another big milestone in. Not necessarily, to be honest. And it makes me so excited. And the and top of the chopsticks, the attachment points are on a conveyor belt. They're they're on a they're on a chain that kind of goes back and forth. So even if the booster is a little crooked, they can attach the points, lift it, align it, and then lower the t the bottom ones into position. No, it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, and it does that automatically. That is nuts. That is nuts. It's absurd. 
I didn't really think about it until now. Also the time where they try it and it works. I didn't really think about it that like you know they right obviously ship not on booster yet. They're so they're trying to This thing can reintegrate by itself. Above the booster for the first time ever. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And just to add Unbelievable. That, I did a quick AB here to look what is happening right now. If you go back about five and a half minutes, or like more at this point, more like six, you can see while yeah, dude, look. I'm not sure if it's rotation. It, they're doing something. It's on a. It's a giant. It's actually a giant the, screw jack. The ship changed a bit. And these things so can move like back, so back and it forth. It moved, but it didn't go up <clears> that one anymore. Like, that thing is a little shuttle, and it can so move. So even if the booster is a little bit crooked, they have they have a, a dowel right here, right that extends out, and it's on a ball joint. There's a it's hemispherical at the end of the dowel, so you can pick it up. Actually, the the hinges that pop out of this thing, or the the rods that pop out, look like a trailer hitch. So that means even if the booster is a little bit crooked, they can line them up. Move the trailer hitches into position, lift the thing up, align it, and then get the lower points aligned too, which is what I think they did. And as we discussed before, there's no, uh, what do you call them, lead lines? Uh, there's no ropes for people to finally guide the thing into position. So if there's no one up there and you need to get this thing aligned to click into place with something, you need some sort of uh, translation or rotation mechanism on the chopsticks to move the vehicle. Also, you just reminded me. And what the no frick? Kudos. There's no cherry yep. pickers. Yeah, there's, 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 there's not only no taglines, there are no spotters. This is a, looks like to be a completely automated or remote controlled process. I agree, Ivan, yeah. Kind of astounding. You can't say there are no spotters because there are two spotters that are in the air and flying the around. Is there a video of it? Yeah. Sure. There's no human, uh, no, let's say, wetware spotters out there right now. Yeah, exactly. They plan to Look. use the ships, so maybe this is something they need to stack the ships. But because the ships might be used once... I don't know, Trash. It's we'll find out, I guess. Versus the boosters that are designed for, I think he was saying... Three Look at how fast that thing is going. Like that for the boosters. Guys, all right. Yeah. Like, I you see this thing? Like I said, I've been saying how big it is. It's this big, it's this big, it's this big. It's this big. Yeah, that thing so is the same size, well, in like, fact, a little bit bigger I was than the like, space shuttle's like, external like, tank. All right, so but they're just going for it. Yeah. And what is the way you guys know this, the space shuttle, the the orange tank. Starship is as big as that thing. It's about the same size, right? Here, you want to get you want to get perspective to how big the external tank is. There it is next to a car. That's how big this thing is. I mean. Look at the Crown Vic. Like the flaps have almost cleared the top of the, the flaps have cleared the top of the booster because the top of the chopsticks have cleared the top of the booster. This is it, they're just not messing around. What are and, we and looking you know, at here? Look at this. I've lost all sense of normal commentary. I'm just going, oh wow, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, like 14 hours, I think. Unbelievable. And uh, they started lifting a thing and it just went straight up. Unbelievable. So, uh, we are actually going to hold on to those super chats right now. Yeah, firework is pretty crazy, man. List, but we're going to wait till we get a little bit more of a break and we're not right in the action. I do see the is that Albert Hill Tower crooked from the tweet photo? Questions. We're going to see if we can't find some questions here. No. No, no, it's just the crane. The crane is, the no, crane, the crane booms over to the side and just the way this picture is set up. Look at Super Heavy and look at the tower. They're both parallel. The crane is the crane's messing with your eyes. We'll also add we've got a video coming out thanks to Mary and Nick, which will um, cover all day's events, including right. That's a good picture, Roblox. Life, so you'll see the preparations for it and all the all production site as well. So there's a lot more content to come while we're watching this to keep you occupied. Chris, that was uh, the theme of the video was Starship moved into place or something like that, and it's like, well, that's old news now. <laughs> the Starship has yeah. moved up the tower now, and we're still gonna, of course, put the video out. We got time lapse of all the uh, present or the, the preparations that happened over the course of the day. So if you're interested in how they got to here with the ship on the uh, chopsticks, that's what the yeah, right, Smurfs. We probably do it. We're still releasing. Yeah. What are we gonna do, Bennett? Like, come on. Well, no, it's about a couple feet lower, Bagel. Actually, having seen the lift, 
How they're going to catch it? Yeah, I have no idea. Why did he do it so late? I don't know. More stacks go on. It will be really cool to go back and reference this video over and over and over again for how the process has changed and refined over time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, and this. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Adrian. I I just found it interesting because we were able to to see the preparation. Now, Devlin, she's good. Well. I'm watching it, dude, and I know, dude, when it comes to integrating things, I know what to look for. I'm pretty good at it with your help. Looks, dude, she looks stable. That thing ain't moving. She ain't going nowhere. That's also another thing we will learn about this. We will learn how, well, what we need to watch out for before they will lift things with these chopsticks, and we'll understand the process better. So I'm it's so damn cool, that. dude. Now, I've just pinned the video that's been released into the top of chat. And I'll do that on Starbase Live as well. All right. We've got bunk, bunk, no, wait. Bunk, bunk. That's in. going nowhere. There is a little bit of a time lapse of the booster being, or the, the ship actually being positioned there last night. Nick actually got some cool footage. Of course, this is the video that we've just released summarizing all the work that went up to getting Ship 20 into position here in preparation for the lift. That's literally happening. They're right drones, now. Skydrift. They're, SpaceX is flying drones around. Yeah, and the, like like you said, like this was not just roll the ship up, grab it with the chopsticks, and move it up. There's a lot of alignment that had to go into place. And we saw actually earlier, about like, a, like about two hours ago, they had to put a little bit of strain to... Um, put enough force on the chopsticks to almost lift it just to make sure that everything was working so this was not just roll it up grab it lift it and boom you're done this there's a lot of preparation work and the video goes through everything they had to do throughout the course of today absolutely let's see do we have a couple questions that oh, we've maybe pulled out here do we can, does anybody want I have no words. I'm just sitting here thinking about what it takes to actually do what they just did. So we've seen it lift. Um, what they would be doing right now if things are proceeding nominally through their timeline and they didn't see anything uh, out, of, uh, out of family of what they okay, were doing during the lift, which uh, locations are that... They are they going to stack it? Um, what they would be doing now is... Uh, King, if I had to guess, it, so, all right, if it was me and we were messing with this and we built something like this in KSP, yes, I could do it. I know you, people would want that. If we were doing something like this in KSP, dude, um, honestly, I would let it sit there for a little, for, let it sit for a little bit and I would be looking at it and watching to see if anything bends or breaks or whatever, um, and if everything seemed okay, I would try to would try to I'd try to turn it. Yeah, sure. Nah, Jimmy, nothing's moving right now. I would go for stacking. Yeah, I would do it. Safe to proceed to the next step. So we have seen them pause here, but that would not be unexpected for an operation of this kind and a first type of operation of its kind. No, SpaceX is funding this the launch tower by itself, Gil. I still can't believe it's just Hanging it's just out. sitting up there in yeah. the air, just just chilling. Yeah, it's yep. it's unreal. See, do we Full have some stack. of those questions? Maybe could we? I mean, one of the things we do is we try to answer viewer questions, and we were so dumbfounded by the rapid ascent of Starship, we weren't doing any question answering. Um, while we're still chilling. here in this, I imagine they're checking the loads, making sure everything's cool before. What's they go the empty the, mass? The swing maneuver. Um, do we have some questions? Maybe. I got some. Oh, I don't know. It's probably right over a hundred tons. 100 right. metric tons, so 100,000 kilograms, so that's 220,000 pounds. Like Ian, are you, are you playing favorites here? Um, well, um, now you see, um... <laughs> Alright, got it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. So I actually didn't say. notice. He wanted to say yes. I actually didn't notice. <laughs> drone, drone going down again, that's cool. Um, okay, Ian, not this Ian, but a different Ian that Ian selected. Is asking, She's will turning? SN20, which now it's called Ship 20, or S20, uh, will S20 launch uh, after... Is it rotating? I think it is it's rotating. rotating. Oh, my yeah. God. 
Didn't we hear this could take 12 hours? It's yes, actually. Like, I don't think it we, will and, take 12 and hours. And let's hope that was the worst case scenario that they're beating by a long shot here. <laughs> yeah. Is it turning? It doesn't... Basic was like, oh, they're starting no to answer questions. Start According to public <laughs> sources, empty <laughs> should exactly. be about 100 tons. A super chat. Fine, move it again. So I'm told. And now that we're not doing anything, they'll be like, all right, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Hold. Now, guys, it should uh, go this I'm way. It should go up. left to right on your screen. <laughs> I'm going yeah, to right. A, B, back and forth again here just to see how much it's moved. But yeah, it is It is indeed. They are rotating it. Look at that. I'm going to oh, watch. Wow. It's actually rotated pretty significantly. Yeah. So the, the question was, will it launch after this? Will Ship 20 and Booster 4 launch after this stack? Who wants to take that, that conundrum? I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, um, SpaceX is flying no. drones around, Kenobi, yeah. <laughs> why, no. Ian? Uh, Ian, right, Ian, well, tell, Ian, tell Ian why. All right, Ian, this is coming from Ian, so it's coming from the heart. Um, no, <laughs> it's not going to because we have not seen any static fire testing on the booster itself. Now, could they do static fire testing with the ship on top? Absolutely, but that is a risky endeavor, and you don't want to do that with precious cargo on board, such as a ship with six expensive Raptor engines on it. So very 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 likely they're going to destack it before these vehicles fly if they do fly Ian, mention the tiles well, at the top it. dude i agree with you I, some I, of the I tiles are missing the at the top in favor of a destack here for additional testing um before flight but devil's advocate sn20 might but ask again later for booster four data on <laughs> booster in the okay. ship and you get all those cryo interactions going up the the stack where did the tiles the go they haven't put the tiles up at the top here towers and everything that might be something they could get uh, some good data to off of where the original train lifting points are booster with ship on top of it oh, is that no, a new one smirch yeah, I'm, not, I'm not arguing against that i'm just saying that um uh, the, this this is not a stacking for launch oh yeah, and 100 percent. yes yeah Another oh. reason might be if they want to static fire a lot of raptors at the same time, it might be good to have a counterweight uh, at the top yes, to thank you. help uh, to help to counter these 20, 29 raptor engines firing because long we time, saw them. Oh yeah, go ahead. Play. Long long time tank watchers will remember serial number five and serial number six, and I think four, and maybe three. Either way, five and six for sure had mass in about twenty two tons of steel just welded to the top. Of, uh, of each vehicle, and that was for important reasons, right? TM, important reasons. Uh, and so the ship it, ship could, in theory, play a similar role for booster static fires, but I, I definitely think I'm on the side of de-stack, then the static fire. Uh, no, it's I'm good. good. We, we honestly, I can't say what they'll do. And having some kind of a mass simula simulator on top of it for, the, for that 29 Raptor engine static fire, would make sense, right? Because the vehicle lifts off with an overall thrust to weight ratio of 1.5. Um, so having that ad that added 110 tons plus fuel mass on top of the booster as you're static firing, it would certainly relieve some of the stresses on the hold down po points on the orbital launch mount. Ooh, I got through that with only two mess ups in speaking. So yay. Congrats. No regrets. Can I? <laughs> you guys I mind if I... Elon's, Elon's tweeting like crazy. I, I think he's as excited as we are. Can I just do something real quick? I'm sorry, that's what popped into my head.
Oh, she's going. Oh, man. Look at that. That's right, Kyron. It's pretty crazy, right? This is this song's called "Fanfare for the Common Man" by Aaron Copeland. It's, it's a great song. I I don't listen to it very often, though, but there's good reason for that. Discovery, go and drop up. <sighs> what a ride, man. Be all right, Jonathan. Discovery, go and throttle up. Nice picture. <laughs> Dude, she's moving. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm sorry guys, that one might mute that one might mute the VOD, so I may have just ruined it. <laughs> but so it was worth it. Worth it. Dare mighty things indeed. Yeah, Fanfare should be public domain. It's an old song. But... <laughs> Here, I'll link the song, guys. It's a great song. That's one of my favorite classic pieces. Seriously. Aaron Copeland, real good. Yeah, scary, right? Right? Quick, download the VOD. Yeah, right. It's rotating, lols. Yeah, she's rotating into position. How are they going to rotate Starship? A turntable? Well, there's there's two pegs that that are on each chopstick that are... They have like a trailer hitch. So it's like... It's skinny and then it's like a, a hemisphere at the end. And uh, those attach into Starship. And on each chopstick, they're, each chopstick the pegs are on a screw jack so they can move back and forth so they can rotate it into position it, not very far but they can rotate it. It, it, it it they did it to pick it up guys like i know i said it already and if you've been with me this whole time yeah you'll this you will probably already heard this they picked that up without anybody touching it rockets aren't integrated like this like i, I will say this a thousand freaking times until i'm blue in the face no one integrates a rocket from mission control that's not how that works SpaceX, there's no one on the pad right now. SpaceX is remotely integrating their rocket from mission control down the street. Starship is staged on the ground, so no rotation is needed to line up. <sighs> Yeah, definitely. It's just it's just bananas. It's bananas to me that that thing is floating up in the air and no one touched it. Nobody nobody touched it. They just put it in place, lined it up, and that's it. Thing picked it up by itself, put it and it's putting it on the stack. That's that's just That's unheard of. Now, no one's done this. 
No one's done this. No one's ever done that before. You guys are seeing this for the first time. You're watching this for the first time. You, you, you're, you're, wis- you're witnessing space flight history. No one's ever done this before, ever. Not even close. Putting a stack together this big usually takes hundreds of people. Yeah, 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 right, Forge? It's, it's nuts. How much bigger is it than a Saturn V? I don't know. About 20 to 30 feet taller. Saturn V's wider than this one, though, Rings. But yeah, Hellfish, it's it's unbelievable. Guys, we, we, we were building rockets like this in KSP uh, automatically. Like, there was only two or three Kerbals, right? Just to man the vehicles and to move stuff around. We were doing this in KSP a couple months ago. And, like, you know, I always had to explain nobody... <laughs> rockets really aren't built this way. This kind of illustrates the process. It's not usually this automated. But also... The shuttle kind of did this, though? No, no, not even close, Aiden. You needed 150 guys to put a shuttle stack together. What are you talking about? Present. <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. To be fair, it's only half as slow as your integration in KSV anyways. Well, how long did this take, Kem? How long did this take? I could get Freedom put together. I could get a Freedom 4 rocket put together in 30 minutes. Payload, first stage, and second stage. 30 minutes, dude. How long is this taking? Boom. Boom. I had it right. (laughs) I had it right. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh my goodness. I can't. So it's done by the chopsticks? Kim, there's no one on that tower. There's nobody even near it. There's no one near it. It's doing that by... they're, They're remotely controlling it. It's not automated by any means. It's re- like the, they remotely control integrated a freaking ride. Like, well, it's not integrated yet, but. Oh, th- this is. A- Guys, this is hurting my brain. That's unbelievable. Automated to a point. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's to a point. It's not like full automated, but. Forge's link. No. Oh, what is this, a Lab Padre picture? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 dude. I I can't. I can't right now. I can't. I can't. I can't. Engine fairings. No, that's so cool. Oh. Ah, it's making my head hurt. It's so cool. Oh. Oh. That's, oh my goodness. That's so damn cool. Yeah, they did, Joe. They put, they put, they put bow tails on the, on the engines. I, I, dude, are the NASA space flight guys just as speechless as I am? Look at that! It's it's right Pretty on much. top of it now. So, uh, yes. as we as we wait to see before they start to lower it <laughs> down, uh, any other questions that we've got? Yeah, actually, we got a couple. Uh, D H is asking, any idea why they didn't use the chopsticks to get the booster onto the launch mount? Why are they only using the chopsticks with the ship right now? Test with the ship first because it's lighter. It's actually a good question. I don't have an answer to that. If someone wants to Sounds to riff on it, question. I mean, I think I ship think it's... is smaller and easier to handle versus a booster. You get the booster up, 
Jack and gets it. In order to test the I don't have any claw, Smurfs. All I got is Guinness. Is completely guessing. Uh, you then are able to actually move the ship up and down and put it on the business. Nah, but Cam may be a little bit under strain, but the, maybe, I'll yeah, be yeah, honest, maybe. dude. What's blowing my mind is the fact that they lifted this thing and it didn't bind up. It didn't bind up. It's being pulled up by the pulley right there. See that pulley? Like, you know this. I'm just saying this for everybody else. Because it's being pulled up by that pulley. How this thing didn't bind up and, like, jam is unbelievable to me. That's ridiculous. The tolerance is... The tolerances on these linear bearings that, that are on the carriage that move the chopsticks up and down must be like millimeters. Less than a millimeter, which is probably why they were grinding the paint off the tracks the other day because they were worried about it binding. There's no way they're getting the ship up in time. So if you use a proven system to get the booster on quickly, boom, done. Work on the chopsticks during that time. I don't know, I was... I mean, yeah, they also... Oh, go, go ahead, ahead just, no, ahead, so just real quick, they they appear to be in yeah, alignment. I'll think about it, Kim. Right or not, Kim? Uh, King, I'll think about it. Sorry, it's getting booster. late, <laughs> and I'm it's a little bit at a loss for words here. If we'll see, or if it's even possible for there to be any right, back Ivan? <laughs> and forth motion of the ship, like can the ship go closer to the tower? Could you elaborate on what you mean by binding? Well, Boo, they're lifting it up from one point. So how does Starship not bend the whole thing? And these these things are on tracks. If you're going to bend the whole thing, that means it's going to get caught. Like the thing is going to want to bend and it's going to push. It's going to push the back of this up against the tracks. It's going to bind up. It'll get caught. Um, is it lowering around? Maybe it may hang on. They... I'm going to fast forward and make sure I'm make sure I'm up to speed. This is Toolco. I'm very confident you could do this in KSB. Nobody else has your skills. Oh, yeah, we can make this. The hardest part would be to get it not to not bind, King, to be honest with you. That would be the difficult part. And making something strong enough to hold this in position. No, no counterweights, Chiron. The pulley goes up over here. There's two large pulley wheels, and then one cable goes to this corner, and the other cable goes to the other corner, and then it goes down the sides. And then there's just there's just an oil rig and a heavy industrial winch down here. That's what's that's what's picking it up. It's ingenious, man. Uh, the electromechanical jazz, man. Yeah. It's a drone. Yeah. The arm is moving. It is. It is. It is. Yep. Yeah, the QD is moving. I wonder if they so, need the stabilization system. Exactly what stack. I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> because if it wobbles a little bit, if you have the wind, you're not stacking. They got the old lobster claw, grab onto the booster there. Yeah. And then, <laughs> lobster uh, claw. Yeah. And then, and then clamps. Yeah, right. I, I, the don't clamps. Put, I don't put uh, Lab Padre on, geez, on you your smirks. I don't have permission from him. These clamps that we use at every Bio digital jazz, man. <laughs> Hey, real quick, Ian, I know that you had a limited time with us this evening. I think you've maybe got a Unbelievable, step out Forge. Unfortunately, I do. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, though. We saw a lot happen in the past hour. Alignment so and descent imminent. Good deal. Well, y'all, that's the uh, voice of Ian Atkinson there. Exciting things happening here. He's got to take off the NASA Spaceflight team not going anywhere. But, Ian, thank you so much for joining us here this evening. We appreciate I think they're going. Yeah, yeah Dendal, they're going. They're going for it. I, I they're going, they're going to go the for it. Moving the QD stack. into position. Yeah, we're going to see a stack. See so you all get to sleep. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Sleep. Yeah, my mom just called me and told me my hey, stepmother has passed and away. Oh, I'm there sorry, There are man. some substantial super chats happening. Eric Beavers, thank you so much. Frank Brantz, I mean, I'm not going to read them all here, but there are some some substantial, substantially sorry, generous Clint. chats come through. Bingle Johnny as well. Hopefully, so hopefully this can make things a little um, bit better, I am dude. I'm going to try to go through yeah, and I'll keep keeping my thoughts, man. We have a chance. We are definitely not ignoring them. We appreciate Artsy, you seeing this, man? We're able to do this, but uh, thank y'all so much for the support. I, I yeah, Forge, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're able to. Uh, I had to teach children tomorrow morning. Oh my lord, dude, uh, King! I've already written off tomorrow morning. That's yeah, no, that's rest of the world, and I'm not going. Quick disconnect is moving into position, and I'm mad. Yep. The mod won't be happy with me. So, anyways. I mean, now you said it, dude. Yeah, Ian. I. No, really. Where are people watching? You nailed the question, though. They're picking up Starship first because it's lighter. And they didn't. I don't think they had time because they had to get it ready for the presentation. So, I think they crane the su they crane super heavy on purpose, and then you want to lift Starship first with the chopsticks because it's not super heavy; it's lighter. 
How do they attach? Please elaborate. There are two trailer hitches that extend out off the chopstick arms, and they attach to receiving ports on Starship. And the receiving port is circular, and then it has a groove at the top, so it kind of looks like an upside-down keyhole. And when they lift it up, the, the trailer hitches lock into the groove, and they pick it up. We watched it happen. It's unbelievable. How heavy is 4 when empty? 100-something tons? It's, it's heavy, dude. Very heavy. Yeah, Ian. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I passed away in September. I'm sorry, Klein. Jeez. I say stack fuel it and send it. My guy. Booster 4 is 160 to 200 tons per Elon's last. Guys, this is where Starship started at the night. And then watch. That's freaking cool, man. Look at, look, at that, look at that freaking thing. What is happening? What is even happening right now? And then I, I just put hit live. That's... I must go now. The moon needs me. All right, Ian. See you, buddy. Yeah, we'll steal that. A quick mention about this arm we've seen there between the booster and the ship itself. Discovery. No Keep this in the background. Actually, that's a good idea. So check this out. See that little thing right there? Hey, Brandon gifted a sub to 251. Thanks, man. See that? It moves in the pin right there, and then they lift the chopstick up, and the pin locks into this piece right here. See how it's slotted on the top? I wasn't going to add that, but yeah. There you go. That's how they lifted it. That's it. Yeah. It's that and, simple, and, and, dudes. And Doesn't need to be complicated. Pull it back to the 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 sort of uh, it's ridiculous. You know, related vehicle um, that 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 Starship will be working with I, in, in part of its lifetime with SLS. Um, SLS also has a, a a stabilization arm and upper quick disconnect fueling. Starship is huge, but the tower makes it look small, right? Been able to consolidate them down into one arm on this particular thing, but huge vehicles like this generally do have to have stabilization arms of some I know I meant that, that actually hold them vertically in place what the ship was saying is it lifted away <laughs> yeah right okay <laughs> all right yeah. I'm, I'm watching yeah, Jim it's unbelievable I, okay, unbelievable dude me, but I'm sort of looking at it and I'm wondering if the ship is exactly aligned with the booster like is it just the stuff at the top of the booster is it a they are a popsicle I I, I dude my I, I that's that's going off what I think. I I think I think they're going to I think they're going to attach the VSS on the quick disconnect arm. So check this out. See this little this little nubbin right here? Those things are going to reach out and they're going to clamp the booster to make sure it's held in place and then they're going to bring Starship down. I think I think they're going to do it. They're waiting. So Guys, when you're doing a test like this, you don't just lift it up and try to slam it into position. No. Do one thing at a time. Move it up first. Actually, they moved it a little bit off the pad first. Checked everything, make sure everything was good. Then they raised it up halfway up the arm. Stopped for a second, checked everything was good. Then they raised it all the way up to the top. Checked everything up there, made sure everything was good. Then they rotated a little bit. Checked everything, made sure everything was good. And then they rotated it over the stack. Now they're checking everything and making everything, making sure everything was good. Well, they moved the quick disconnect arm, which is this thing down here, into position. Now they're checking everything from that. The next thing that they're going to do is try to grab super heavy. They're going to try to grab the booster with the quick disconnect arm. They grab it to hold it in place so they can stack Starship on top of it. That's the next step. Hey, boss, what's going on? So look, see SpaceX, they're flying the drones around. The, these little lights moving around, they're flying the drones. They're literally just looking and checking to make sure that everything's good. Once again, fellas, there is no one on this launch complex. There's nobody there. No one's in the tower, no one's in the ship, no one's on the chopsticks. This is being done from mission control. They are building a rocket remotely from down the street. That's insane. That is in freaking sane. Yo, Gino, what's good, man? How you doing? 
The checklist alone is lengthy to read through. I would love every second of it, Devlin. I'd read through the whole thing and I'd memorize it because <laughs> that's how I roll. I'd be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, nice, Moto. That's cool. No one's ever built a rocket with nobody near, like nobody near the integration. It usually takes hundreds of people. And I've got a coffee, and I'm not sure which one to drink. <laughs> if you A B, you will notice the, the quick disconnect. Pretty much, I. Nightmare. Working from home is all the rage these days, yep. right? It really is. That's the, the most obvious thing you see. Yeah. And it looks like those little uh, the lobby show this. It might help. Sort of. Yeah. So extended. the next the next thing that we got up on the list is this right here. See that thing right there? Those things are gonna reach out and they're gonna hug the booster. Now keep in mind this is from Lab Padre stream. I don't show live stream because I don't have permission. I I have, probably should send him an email at some point. But see, these things are going to reach out. They're going to move into position because there's a hydraulic that pushes this spreader bar this way. And that opens up the claws and the claws will attach. They'll attach to the pins that hold super, that catch super heavy. They're going to attach to those things and that's going to hold that booster in place and then they'll crown the booster. It's happening right now. There it is. There it is, dude. They've got like a oh, King, that hold me. This is awesome. Get up the footage. Like, look how fast I am. Oh my goodness. And again, just quick thanks to the support. I've just noticed it doesn't matter if it's $1 or if it's just people liking. It's all appreciated. But <laughs> Plasmatol, $150 super chat. Is Mechazilla the largest robot on the planet? I don't think it is. Mentally is it? completing I mean, steps as I watch them. What is? Boss, I can't believe this is going on right now, dude. How? Mining. Yes, mining. yes, dude. I, I, I can't believe. How, how did this thing lift this without binding, dude? How does that even happen? It's, dude. This is some V twenty two stuff going on right here. It's like if the V twenty two and a Saturn launch umbilical tower decided to have a kid. It's like that Noah's Ark meme from Family Guy. What the hell is this? What the? What the hell is this? What is this? Like. <laughs> I can't to believe the, it. We can debate. How does that even happen? I feel like it worked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ner dude, like guys. Oh, I'm totally nerding, nerding out. I don't care. Uh, I don't give ways. a but frick. You're right. I, I agree. That is the Not coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. Now Not I want to submit that to a. Really I didn't good think that, called Robot that or Not, today would upstage the coolest. Some of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's a really, it's a really good podcast. But this is definitely up there. To figure out if they will answer the question of if the Hadron Collider is in fact a robot, I would argue no. I agree. I agree that the Hadron Collider is not a robot. It doesn't move enough. I mean... Oh, I, I, thought, I thought we said machine. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. No, no worries. Good luck's here. Hit it but green on system. Good awaiting good MEO. Good What's good MEO, is... Forge? We're nerding today. Clawing. Looking forward to nerding with coworkers about it in the morning. Hell yeah. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Yes, it looks it, like it's it, clawing. It, 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 oh, sorry, Jack said that. And I just had to repeat it. It was, that's it was what time brilliant. This comes in. <laughs> How do they lock it into place? Super Heavy must be powered on, and it must have a clamp system, Soapy. Has, well, I, I think the bottom parts, like the actual lobster claw bits, are moving Forwards, or they're sort of like clamping down, but I don't know. There it goes. It's it moving. Like the claw is in the. There final, it goes. Or sorry, the the arm itself is in the final position. The vehicle stabilization system is aim. moving into position. It's going to grab the peg right there. The See that peg? Of the arm is the claw bit actually extending forward. Jack, is, is the that, big meaty claws. So big the, meaty claws, old um, man. What about the claw makes sense to me? Oh, the, there is a separate part on the bottom of the QD the QD arm. Yes. I'm gonna say cutie arm every single time now. I'm sorry, I po I've poisoned your consciousness. And go on. <laughs> there's there's a separate claw that moves. It, it sort of like claws forward. It closes like a claw. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know how else to describe it, right? Precisely, and yeah, the the rest of the arm itself does not move. Um, at least relative uh, to yeah, those claw arms. There is another moving part, the ship QD, which is the whole reason we call it the QD arm. But really, if it was like a full name, it'd be like the ship QD and booster stabilization arm. And other. <laughs> what did you say, punk? Sure Big meaty claws. 
Thank you, really AJ. Thank you for getting that. As you just made me happy. We would say, but yeah, I think I think those are like a separate little grabby bit down there at the bottom that are doing the clawing. Grabby bit that's doing Speaking, the clawing. I like it. Speaking to me, I have to go. I have to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Yeah. Where do you think um, you are right now? Uh, no. You're at work. But the, the goal is to get in there in time for this to actually be stacked, so I can tweet that it's stacked. And that's the <laughs> process. But I think this is Chris is a man a of principle, I see. Stream where we continue to cover it, so I think it's a good result all around. But yeah, who else off, here didn't know that NASA space flight was Chris B's yeah, side it's hustle? Fun times, and that's what we're I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> you, wait, you have a regular <laughs> job, dude? <laughs> you tweet space really stuff twenty four seven. That's Indeed. the voice of Chris Berg. And Chris, yeah. thank you so much. Um, if you're late to work, I'll write you a note. No problem. Just let me know. Um, the, the I don't know how that says, would go over. The note just says space shuttle. Yeah, I work too much. What is this launch for? At the bottom. Yeah. Nothing is going to be launching here, Soapy, but Elon has Elon Musk and SpaceX have a huge presentation for their plans with Starship tomorrow. And Elon said that he wanted a full stack for tomorrow to show off to people when he presents the new plans for Starship. So here we go. We got a full stack there. Biggest rocket in the world by a long shot right now. It's it's taller than SLS, guys. Don't get me wrong. SLS is beast and SLS is not it's a little bit shorter than this. And SLS is a beast mode of a rocket. I love that thing, but that is that is the biggest rocket in the world. Biggest and most powerful. Oh yeah. Booster, or to stabilize the stack, I guess, like Jack was saying. And it does look like, answering our question, were they going to claw it before they touch down? When the is Starlink going to be available like everywhere? Anywhere? I'm sure somebody will ask it, that tomorrow, claw, Jaywa. And then, I'm not Quick disconnect drop. arm is attached, Forge. I see it. There's a rumor that NASA place. officials will be there tomorrow. I believe Pivot, it. Claw in place. I like it. It's like no I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of like a try it before you buy it kind of thing. Like claw it before you... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. I'll get back to it. I feel like we need to <laughs> it on top of the booster. Just claw it before you store it. No, it doesn't have a ring. We're gonna, we're gonna work. Good. We'll, we'll get back flow. to you. We'll we'll workshop. We'll make like a t-shirt design. Time is the announcement, guys. Nine March, p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Course, <laughs> like you like that? I did that on purpose. Yes. Um, we like to come up with special merch to full stack, baby. <laughs> and so we've got one here. The banner on the site says. I don't think Jim's gonna excitement. be there, Aiden, but it'd be we cool. We have a new full stack design for T-shirts. Right, Kyron? Like, they do. A mouse pad. I think there's a mouse pad. I, think I put money down that the HLS team uh, will be there this weekend or next. That is now in the shop. Yes, okay, it is a full stack mouse pad. Apparently. Forge, what's Artful um, Takedown saying? Stream, she, support she what say anything? Doing, help us do this a little bit more. And also get something so that... Just uh, waiting on clamp and atmospheric fans. check. Space please hold. Descent is imminent 32 you. seconds ago. Uh, the merch, the t-shirts and stuff like that are a great way to support what we do and also gain a little bit of nerd credibility, I guess. That's a really cool design. I think Paula Pauline Eklund made that design, didn't she? Yep, she did. She did a killer job like she does on all of the merch of ours that she does. And I can't express how much I love the work that she does. On all of the things that she touches, she does a great job. So absolutely floored with this design. It's got a sweet, like, kind of vapor wavy, like, retro future. I don't even know. Do you think there will be any and weird I'm questions during the Q&A? Of course. From what I heard, it might be getting I larger. They might make Starship bigger in the future, Klein. Yeah. Catalog. And I guess closet? I don't know why I said catalog. Shut up. So... Man. Or the other it's all good we also we made a change with this merch as well sometimes we put the uh nasa space i'm just gonna th th uh throw down das here so check this out so sid chambers here i've never seen this twitter account before but i'm gonna follow it now aerospace engineer building spaceships for spacex she's going through the checklist she's posting the checklist on twitter descent imminent is the last one any new ones? I mean, she's, she's obviously an engineer for SpaceX, man. Like, I don't know what you want to hear. She's going through all the steps. Someone's getting a talking to tomorrow. I don't. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna. I'm not. I'm not angry. Why on Twitter? I don't know. That's awesome, though. That's awesome that she's keeping us in the loop. I, I mean, I'll take it. She's the lead, ge lead engineer for the Special Programs Division at SpaceX. Well, yeah, I don't think she's going to get a talking to. 
I yes. But we don't actually know that they lock together. Presumably that would make sense, but sure. So far it's the best we got yet. That's a sweet title. <laughs> Scary, I'd love to talk to her. I'd be like, so what's it like being awesome? Like, so it looks like it's still that sounds moving. neat. That uh, sounds pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's moving down. <laughs> QD arm, claws, have clawed. I don't know, tweets, maybe. Uh, <laughs> for lack of a better term, have engaged. How about that? They have, they have engaged. Yeah, Sammy's probably uh, so there, too. Yeah. Wait to see what the next step is. Not like I being skunk works at SpaceX. Yes, I see. I didn't know what it was called, King, literally until this moment here. But I knew that SpaceX had a Skunk Works division. They also have a huge material science division that's doing FEA on stuff all the time. They're doing element analysis 24/7, 365, to try and find better materials and better alloys to make better parts. That part of the reason, part of that FEA, is why Raptor is so ridiculously good, man. Oh, okay, Anson. <laughs> so many shipments. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Hellfish. That's cool. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they'll leave this, the sticks up, or do you think they'll they'll lower them down after stuff? No, you, you'd want to... Uh, since? They'd want to figure out... To, once they stacked Starship, they want to... I would hold it there for a second, check everything, once they, once they crown it here. Um... And then I'd see if it automatically disconnects. It should it should be aligned. That shouldn't be an issue. Definitely not time to watch, but you might want to bookmark this SLS Discovery. animation. It's nuts. Up. Is that the one where they, with the rollout and everything? Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Diagonalizer. Seven month resub. Thank you. Could a nuclear starship work? I don't know. Swing to the side. I don't see a way for the chopsticks to get out. Maybe they could certainly widen a lot. They're going to open, they guys. Open close, but I, I don't know that's, how the chopsticks would get past the QD arm if the claws engaged. That's a engaged. really good point. And I guess that's her job to figure out, indeed. I mean, huh. So does that mean this is the configuration we would expect to see for a launch, and the chopsticks would just swing wide open and allow the vehicle to sort of pass through them? That kind of seems logical to me, um, although a little bit surprising. Yeah. Uh, huh. Something like that. Dot com. Like the tower is a, a loving parent, and the ship and booster is a young child going on first day of school, and it's like, okay, go, and it releases the hug, and then the ship. I, I should probably sleep. I should really probably sleep. If the first time this thing takes off, go into orbit, Jack, and you say not Starship has cl cleared the tower, but uh, the tower has released the hug, I, I don't know whether I'll cheer or just shake my head at you. I made a little bit of both, hopefully. <laughs> Again, folks, if you're just joining us, oh. that is Starship <laughs> okay. S20. It Moving has on. Been lifted up above the booster by the chopsticks for the first time. <laughs> Does Jack need a hug? <laughs> <laughs> is it descending now? Yeah, it is. If you want to see it. Check out Lab Padre. I know, I know about Lab Padre, it's dude. Descending. Yeah. They are lowering it. It absolutely is. What? That's what I was going to say was next. Um, we are expecting to see it start to go down towards the booster, and that's what's happening right now. Oh, yeah, she's going down. Yeah. Look, look right here. The shadow is really easy. It's really easy this to see if it's moving. Here, I'll, I'll back up 10 seconds. Look. Make it a lot easier to see. See what I'm talking about? It's going down slowly. It's brain power. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in it right now, tweets. <laughs> brain power. In terms of the Firmly grasp it in your hands. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Rip got timed up, but Sid said nice and easy. Uh, okay, I got you, pal. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh, Jack, I've heard. Jack, you, now you're really curious what else SpaceX got cooking in the background somewhere? I've heard stuff, dude. I don't report about this stuff, but I've heard things. Uh, it's probably misinformation. They do that a lot. 
uh, like they they just say stuff, you know, from time to time. But you hear whispers from time to time, and it's it's pretty nuts, dude. Some of the stuff, like, and then you know, like I hear about it, and then Elon posts it on Twitter. You know what I mean, like. But yeah, dude, they, dude, the there's. Like I figured they were gonna do a bunch of testing, and then when the sun comes up, this. I've heard things, sunrise, and I don't report it, you know, and I don't report it on purpose because it's hearsay, and I have no way to prove it. So. But. Keep going. You're good, and stop. Do you think they would lift the ship with crew on board, or have a separate crew access? What kind of stuff, dude? You don't even, dude. It is, it is wild, Porteous. You think, SpaceX? All right. Here's what I'll, here's what I'll say. If half of the stuff that I've heard about Starship is true, this, look, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what they have planned. It is ridiculous. When I say when I say that Starship, they're gonna try to fly, they're gonna try to make Starship work like an airplane, like it's gonna be able to fly that much. Yeah, that dude, that when they say that when Elon says that they want to do that. He means it, and that's all I'm gonna say. That's that's just like even if half of the things that I heard are true, it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm right. Like this, dude. This is, dude, just, this is gonna one of those things where if this thing works, this it's gonna change. Like at this point, uh, we're talking something I had like you know, going from. Is it? Is it? We're talking about like going from this. If a C-47 represents the current state. The current state of, like, rocket science, right? Like, that's the current meta right here. Starship is this. Like, that to that. that that's what I'm talking about. It is, it is that ridiculous. Think anything might be said tomorrow? You, you probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, this is a quantum leap. In a this is about 30 years. So C47 is late 30s, early 40s. The 707 is early 60s. So 20 years. Yeah. If Starship worked, it's quite literally going to be a 20 year jump. It, it, it's going to be ridiculous, man. It's going to be ridiculous. So you're saying we shouldn't pay for a new Shepard flight right now? I'm not saying nothing. It kills me that when I hype up Starship and then people are like, man, it's just a rocket. Yeah, all right. It's not Concord, Natch. No, not yet. I still can't believe that they're controlling this from down the street. They're putting this rocket together down the street from the rocket. Directly related to this operation. Still, it, that's still they're blowing my mind. One of the launch locations for Starship. Um, you know, I, I think yeah, Falcon 9 ain't going anywhere, not until 2028 at least, Jared. systems would be there from the beginning with, with Starship, since they're getting it all tested here. I actually didn't realize that planes changed that much in 30 years. Yep. Well, the biggest vehicle they have, they have launched to date has been the Saturn V in terms of the... the so here, I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate one of the ideas that Elon has talked about. Depot Starships. Depot Starships is something that SpaceX has proposed for storing massive quantities of fuel on orbit so they can refuel and resupply Starship. Well, not resupply. Refuel Starships in space. Ah! The D word! <laughs> that's one of the ideas I've heard floating around, and that's something that everybody knows about. Depot Starships, man. Yeah, he's talked about those before. They're, yeah, crazy. Don't let a senator hear you. <laughs> uh, I said really nothing. Question, it's not. It's not a depot the, space station. It's a depot starship, Devlin. It's different differences. Um, last, please. Initial yeah, it's nothing that isn't in the public record, Max. I'm exactly. very, very and careful and about that stuff. Be, would be a good thing. That makes sense. Yeah, and, interesting, Kyron, um, right? Yeah, you're not wrong. Good engineering to limit your Wait, why'd you use my real name? What? Uh, exposure to rock plume impingement. <laughs> Indeed. Here's one um, that's very relevant. Uh, big facts, big stacks. Something asking, like that, Bonnie. What do you want to hear from tomorrow's just... presentation? No. And will Fucking, you be asking But now I know what your first name is, so. I don't know that we right. know that we'll get the opportunity to ask yeah, Jim. questions. Mm -hmm. I'm sure... 
if we do get the opportunity, we will have... Blue knows all about the extra starships uh, <laughs> to reach the moon. Yeah. I, I mean, this might be a good one for us all to go around the horn. And, oh, immensely complicated you know, like, and like, high like, risk. something out of our wish list? All right. <laughs> I personally... Would... Forlorn, my favorite part of that is, like, SpaceX was like, yeah, so? <laughs> That's the best part. So he's like, look at how complicated this is. Look at it. It's complicated. SpaceX is just like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Not officially hit it, but we knew that it was going to go out to 2030, and that's about it. But how to deal with boil off? I don't know. Ask you on tomorrow. Immensely complicated and high risk. My golf game. Uh, but it, uh, maybe let's go down the list. Uh, Adrian, do you what do you what do you hope we hear or learn tomorrow? I know <laughs> it's kind of yeah, funny actually, isn't it? I would love to have some. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love what Blue does. I, like, I'm a know, cheerleader like for every design, rocket. I don't um, care. Tends to I like all of them. So I'm greedy. I would imagine that some of the I'm greedy uh, performance you know? bags and like all the all the knowledge about thrust, about efficiency of the engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Max. Space is so just like all right. To have like a full update on why male models about these these stats. Are you serious? I just told you that a moment ago. I really want to see a Raptor 2. I'm kind of hoping that they've been able to smuggle some Raptor 2s into Boca Chica without us noticing, and thus we'll be able to, like, pull... You guys remember this afternoon when I when the paper shredded truck was driving around and I said that's used for transporting rocket engines? <laughs> you're a savage. Now the SUVs roll in. <laughs> I was guessing. I don't. It was a paper shred truck, but it could be. It could have had a Raptor engine in it. You, you don't know that it couldn't have. All right. Out the Eclis, the environmental. But Devlin, I'll be honest with you. If that actually did have Raptor engines in it, I would feel really bad now because I was. I was guessing that was. I would. Uh, God, don't 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 even give me crap about that. Now now I'm like nervous. <laughs> Space Station. It should be obvious. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> um, but it's laid out and it's configured very differently, which poses different challenges. If you disappear, I want the truck. Which one? Make sure that oxygen and carbon dioxide and nitrogen are, are properly yeah, hit it, right? yep. distributed throughout the... Can I call the F1 out? No! <laughs> I, that, I'm, I'm very interested no. in that. No, no, they're mine! In, the different variants of Starship. I got on the car. The Do you even like me, guys? What the hell? Which is car you even like me? Just want my cars. And, and that's the one I'm really Hey, Blackbird, what's up, man? We foresee the applications of a cargo crew variant of Starship being because that yours that you don't exist no more where I, now i start to see like okay if you can put cargo and crew that's right Kyron. Vehicle, i'll take the shuttle poster thing you for mars and moon but that helps call the pc no <laughs> fine i'll take your space memorabilia low earth orbit that might Jeez. need to be coming up here um, you can throw the f100 next to my studebaker oh really system that could do it so I, I'm interested in that, and also I want the Bruins jersey. Our and timelines are now for uh, the Dear Moon. How about your KSP save? Oh, I don't Anything. know, man. Yeah, that's a very, very good question. I mean, guitar still up the ground? No. Of this is my guitar. On Starship. This is my we axe, man. Got that crazy flyover the other day of uh, Jared Isaacman and the I fork. And I can't help but wonder if that was not coincidental. That happened to happen just days before this presentation. Uh, maybe maybe just the presentation that was on, who knows? But I'm super excited to, to find out more about that aspect of Starship. So short. Is, it, is it going down more? Are we, are we getting close to... Uh, and then, uh, Das, do you want to... What, what do you hope we find out tomorrow? What? Oh, yeah. All I all I heard was all I heard was my uh, my. I was like, what? And then you, you clarified when hop. Thank you. I want to know when orbit. Uh, when orbit. Yeah. And I know my. No, I don't know if you feel like jumping in, but I I think you're extremely small. I would like to know what you feel like tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Not. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Oh, it screwed up. For the future of this entire it's the second time the Texas. stack has been together, Blackbird, uh, but it's the first time for, they did it with you know, the, with the, an with the launch pad. flight anytime soon. Because this is where they've built the infrastructure and the first parts of it um, for these launches. Thank you. I'm glad I asked you. Because, duh, but the last thing we heard in regards to the final impact statement is that it would be uh, you know, end of February for the FAA set. And there have even been rumblings that perhaps. Stacking where riffs, yep. You got the stacking you know, blues, man. And if, if you guys aren't familiar with this whole environmental assessment process uh, that, they're, that, that they're going through for Starbase is basically there's three outcomes. That, that, that one of three things is that there's a fine speed, a finding with no significant impact, which basically means go ahead, stay the course. There's a mitigating fine which is like fine speed, but like less good, and you like pitch the three blocks and then you start working again. I'm sorry. A mitigating fine speed means, you know, you're mostly good, but you can change these things. But continue. And then the thing that you don't want, uh, at least not if it's unwarranted, is a uh, full environmental impact statement, which could take a significant amount of time. Um, so that is what we're looking at. We nice tweet. Um, what, what exactly the outcome of that whole process is. So uh, I believe those are the outcomes that, that are possible. And, and yes, I that would be a security information to learn about. I don't think we will learn anything from it. In fact, I think part of this whole process could be, you know, sort of. If you guys want to listen to Jack talk, to say, you tell me. Bluff. I'm just, I'm like just enjoying this. The right word, but sort of like a, a readiness <laughs> challenge, like. Look, we have a full stack. Let us launch it, okay? Uh, perhaps, perhaps that would Darren, be an effective... Darren, thousand uh, bits. Effective, I don't know, what you even want to call it, gamesmanship? Still, we have to look at that. We have to look at this lot. I'm on this. But, 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 but here's the question. Nice, nice tune. 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 Nice One hop. For the actual mission. Yeah. Which Speaking wouldn't happen until. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's almost uh, there, man. So, uh, Last boss, please. Jamming isn't good for the normies. We're cranking it to 11. You need to try to play this. Combo before confirming <laughs> Gotta be careful with in-game music, man. Um, I'll listen to it off stream. I mean, All right, lols. That's an question. I, I, I've never heard of the FAA. What's that, Ian? I, I, I would almost... Love and Aeon! Love and Aeon! Starship! The three options that Jack gave 
before. Is Starship Booster hooked into the chopsticks at all? What they've been looking into, and once electronically, that is done, I don't know. That is done. Um, you either do the mitigating thing, or you have to do the mitigating thing, and, and that's what happens. So they came back with like a mitigating. Yeah, this is good. In that direction, but I've never heard of the FAA saying, "Oh, we're not done with the environmental assessment." Oh jeez! No, don't, don't. Why would you do that? Don't don't link saying, that. <laughs> bored vibes, and I was like, "You're bored." Oh, 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 I am excited for something. I hope you guys are going to be excited. I'm just going to take my time for a question from the Interstellar soundtrack in my head. That's nice. Nice one, sister. Okay, first off, let's just take a side. Let's, let's put the caboose in the train off on the, on the siding. <laughs> Do the booster and the Starship bait, or are they actually clamps on the inside? Super Heavy will clamp. How the heck It'll clamp the inside of the rim of Starship. At least I think Phobos? that's how it works. Is it what do you use for Phobos? effects? Yeah, Phobos. And Deimos? Deimos. What was that? Whoa, is that the drone? Hold on, right here. What is that? Right here. Is that an airplane? Huh. Was that the drone? I couldn't tell because it was going at a weird angle, huh? <laughs> Falling Starlink? I mean, maybe. <laughs> And all of that. They didn't so see we, it. We're able to Blue Origin rocket. We're stacked. It doesn't look like we're stacked. I can still see pixels. Still see pixels, man. What do I use for effects, Ice King? I have a Vox 8015 VT, and that has a bunch of different options on it. So you can do. You can make it sound like nobody's, right? <laughs> That song, man. It's one of my favorites. Lights turned on on the engine section. Yeah, I saw that. Hold on. Let me back it up. Oh, no. No, no, no. It looks to be okay. Huh. No, any Weezer? No, I don't. I, I, I forget how to play. Forget how to play it. Sorry. Sounds like Hendrix, not ready. It's out of tune, so it's all screwed up. <laughs> I played it once on the 4th of July. I think it was in 2021. Or maybe, yeah, 2021, the 4th of July stream. Dude, I played it. I forget how to play it. Johnny be good. It's 
screwed it up. Like that? It's way out of tune, guys, yeah. Listen. Way out of tune. B and the E. ACDC. My, this is my favorite one to play on stream, Ice King. to ZLX the most 100.7 WZLX Boston's classic rock I don't know how to play any crew hired to be honest with you you got Iron Man was just a guess. <laughs> Close enough? Yeah, it is a drone. You guys are probably right. Boston rings, yeah. Are you in Boston? Yeah, I live it like live in the next town over, just west of Boston, dude. Because east of Boston is East Boston, and then the ocean. East Boston. That's so hard to play. It's hard for me. Like it's not a it's not a hard song to play. That's tough, man. <laughs> Ha 
<laughs> New Sid tweet. Was ist? Boom! Sid tweet me, baby. Green touch from the systems. Monitoring alignment with us. Bear with us on descent. We'll be faster in the future. Green touch from the systems. I don't... It doesn't look like she's attached, though. Uh, how many holes a straw has? Please don't. Let's, oh, no. let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, green four touch. I'm... Read... Do good more like read good chat. Obviously. <laughs> I came to Twitch was to watch guitar players. I found your stream and still here I am. Yeah, dude. Herman Lee's stream is cool, dude. Almost there. Here. 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 Here's what's coming. Here's what's coming. So di it's so difficult, dude. The drones, drones, drones inspecting here. play the whole song, dude, because then it's just, it's a clip. It's just transformative. You can't play the whole thing. <clears throat> Talking about Thunder, why don't they have a lightning rod here? I think they're going to install one on there, Ivan. Yeah, the guitar is still at it, too, though, but man, I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? This is awesome. This is really making me happy. <laughs> this is the happiest I've been in a little while. <laughs> I'm loving the guitar jam. Hell yeah, Stanley. I'm on a Mac. What's the Windows equivalent for exit full screen? Uh, escape? Just got back. Did everything go as planned? You're, they're about to crown it. About to crown it. 
What's your favorite guitar solo to play? Cubs, I suck at playing the guitar, dude. Favorite solo are the ones that I can play, uh, which is not a lot. <laughs> uh, probably Priest from Living After Midnight. I think that's, that's one I know off the top of my head. It's... Nope. Something like that. I'm not really that good of a guitar player, man. I play the drums, and that's why. As a drummer, I'm destined to suck at the guitar permanently. So... Hell yeah, ring. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Been a Patriots fan since 97, man. Before when I figured out what the frick football was. You gotta love football, man. Oh yeah, gold. Absolutely. Don't you have to be up in a few hours for a launch? No, no, no. Yeah, no. Tom Brady's my hero, man. He's the best quarterback to ever play the game, dude. Ever. And it's hilarious. The day that he retired, the NFL basically said that they don't understand how physics works. They admitted that the flate gate was a load of nonsense. Seriously, they released a statement about it and everything. F the haters, bro. He's the GOAT, Bruce. He's the best there ever was. Best there ever was. Ever. No, dude. He's the best. I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want. Deflate gate. The, the, the page. Shut up. The NFL said it wasn't real. Literally, they released a statement. Who's my favorite drummer? Ooh. Uh, Mitch Mitchell comes to mind. Who is Gronk? Gronk's a Gronk's a tight end. Forge. He's six seven two eighty. That's uh, he's over two meters tall. And he, 280 is like 130 kilos, 140 kilos. The guy's a tank. I've met him. I've met him and I shook his hand and his hand went around my hand and his pointer finger and his middle finger were touching each other. Now, you want to see my hand next to a can of soda. I don't have a small hand. His hand dwarfed mine. Light's gone. We're almost there, guys. He's Brady's tight end. Yeah, that's right. Steelers fan since 75? Hell yeah, man. I, li I like the Steelers. For what it's worth, rings. It sucks seeing Ben go out the way he did. Dude, I watch a lot of football. I watch a lot of football, man. This lockdown has been brutal, man. I've actually started watching more sports. <laughs> Gotta do something, man. Last, good photo. Play Black Dog? I don't know how to play that, dude. All right, we got a final descent, guys. Speed shot. What is this? Oh, almost there. Nice. That is a good picture. Can you play Pour Some Sugar on Me? I don't know any Def Leppard, believe it or not. Is it down? It's almost there. Play Mjolnir Mix. Clamps are latching. There we go. 
we got a Sid tweet. But yeah, who knows Mitch Mitchell? Don't Google it. All right, what is Sid saying? I need a whiskey. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> Sid seems cool. <laughs> Do you know the beginning of the of one by Metallica? No, I could probably guess it, Cubs, but it's down and now, 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 now. But see, here's the thing. I don't want to play any Metallica on stream. I might get DMCA'd. Heck, you gotta be careful about that in this day and age. Metallica was playing on, on their Twitch stream one time and they got DMCA'd by themselves. No, I'm not making that up. No, that actually happened. Look it up. That act that actually that actually was a thing. Only one bottle. <laughs> bottle. <laughs> yep. Wasn't it their lawsuit that led to DMCA? Something like that, Yen said. Yeah. I like Metallica's music. But yeah, they they got DMCA'd by themselves and their live stream got taken down by them. I'm not making that up. That actually happened. How about some Maiden? The only Maiden uh, song that I know is, and I, I should reconcile this. The only Maiden song that I know is this. I can't play that song. Yeah, Loopy, they did the thing, and it is wild, man. Play Freebird? I don't know how to play Freebird. Last, please. You guys gotta realize when you type something in and I'm looking at the guitar, I'm not looking at chat. Like, who is Sid? She's controlling it, I think, yeah. She's part of SpaceX's Advanced Projects Division, which I really didn't know was a thing until now. I knew something like that existed, but I didn't know the name for it. Can you do Barracuda? Uh, the beginning. Play, that plays the harmonics, it goes... I suck, I suck, dude. The drones, are, the drones are flying around, guys. Yep, yep. Pretty much, Vasya, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know any Pantera? No, I don't. <laughs> But it looks like we're locked in, guys. So, Taco, you wanted to see it. Here, look. Watch this. It was fast. It moved up there really quickly. Like, here, ready? Look. There it is. Here, I'll, I'll scrub through. That's the speed that it's going that. Still like 10, 20 centimeters off? Yeah, of course it was, Harp. Yep. Look at that thing. So every six clicks is one minute. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fast, dude. And okay, guys, all right, I'll put the ax down for a second. Guys, I, I, I wanna be very clear and I, this cannot be overstated. SpaceX grabbed this thing. They staged Starship near inside of the chopsticks, right? SpaceX grabbed this thing 
attached the, the side hold down points right there and lifted it with nobody at the pad. No one's there. They're, they are remote control integrating a rocket. They're controlling this from down the street. It's That's mind boggling. 12 Bravo, what's up, man? How you doing? Look at look at this. And then they stopped for a second and then they then they started going. And then they turned it. And that's where we are right now. They're almost crowned. He's there. Like, you know, he's down the street too. He's with him. Fan freaking tastic. What is this? Oh, look at this footage. Look at this footage from Lab Padre. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Automatic integration, man. Electromechanical jazz, man. Yeah, that's the that's the VSS. That's cool. Awesome stuff from Lab Padre. Are they there yet? They continue to lower ship 20 down onto booster four is uh, remember too that we saw the, the, the claw part of the quick disconnect arm come out and grab onto booster four to stabilize it before ship 20 was lowered. We would be expecting that quick disconnect, the actual fluid and umbilical part of the arm up top to then extend over and connect. You're so uh, freaking cool. <laughs> part of that We're process. collecting critical data, bear with us. That, so that was just a second ago. Indicator well, that two minutes there ago. is a full stack. Um, and that it is down fully if we if we see that begin to move. We are ball bearing with you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe this is happening. Send you a Discord message. What's up, Ace? This has just gotten me so unreasonably excited for a orbital launch attempt. Oh my gosh. So uh, all my hobbies is asking. Um, so b is basically asking. So what would happen oh, if those things? Oh, well, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing, man. Um, oh, yeah, I gotta stop. That, that, that I, guess, uh, I can't. I don't want to say. I don't want to say. I don't want to say. I don't want to jinx, um, jinx anything. Was it? I don't want to jinx nothing. One, <clears throat> Jack. Which, which which one of the Starship ones was it that they accidentally depressurized? The lower. That's team so freaking cool, man. Get some. And it just sort of crumbled. Three. Like you remember that yeah, you know that yeah, scene in Full Metal Jacket where the guys in the helicopter one, dick, 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 get some uh, dick, 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 get some get some get some get some get some get some be like that guy except for the the, the yeah. scene that yeah. happens yeah, after that. don't be like yeah, that guy but that's cool man get some any estimates when this will fly March maybe STX and thus the lower tank crumpled. And the upper I, I said for, uh, forlorn. I didn't say the next scene. And there's and, a cool video too from the another message of, of an atlas Bus. doing that as yeah. well. Famous the with, pad, the, with yeah. the balloon tanks. What were you gonna say, Adrian? Huh. And All FBA right. One launched All right. All right. Well, right. Right. Also like, during a cryo. Yeah. There was a period of time where it was like, it's a good one. Are we ever gonna get past this cryo proof milestone? And but yeah, I you guys were asking me about drummers when I was jamming. Mitch Mitchell's probably up there in, in my top five. Neil Peart's up there. Buddy Rich is up there. Uh, I always liked Keith Moon. Keith Moon is the reason why I started playing the drums. I saw him. I saw a music video uh, from the from a Who documentary where they're playing "Who Are You," where he's just absolutely wailing on the drums, and I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I like that. And then Bonham, obviously, that's probably my top five. And if I mention six, it's my top six. Are you winning, son? Current gap. Max Weinberg. Yeah, that's, Max Weinberg's definitely up there, dude. Ian Pace. Good call. Good call, Tars. Hell yeah. Good call. He's a pianist, though. He's not a drummer. Danny Carey. Yeah. Absolutely, Vaz. Mm hmm. Midge. Mike Portnoy. Hell yeah. Dream Theater fan. Good for you. Lazarus, I just gained a lot of respect for you. Hell yeah. 
Squad just got a huge update. Oh, neat. Sweet. Have you seen the drummer from Meshuggah? No, no, no. Pianos are percussive. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. You can see the drone flying right next to it on Lab Padre. Ian Pace, Taurus. Good freaking call. Super underrated drummer. Hell yeah. Scam time. Oh, God. No, please. I'm a fan of Animal. Ha ha ha. Me too. My woman from Tokyo. She's so good to me. That song's amazing, dude. Do you have a link to the synth thread? Sure. What about Mr. Drummer? Yeah, he's all right. And you get different perks. You get chat emoji that are special that only members can use. You can get uh, Discord access at Capcom level and above. Jeff Percaro uh, by members, Toto. Uh, preview videos that go live before the daily videos do. And Animal was inspired by Keith Moon, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Midge, it's a song by yeah, Deep Purple. You, you, you know it. Program, just being a, just being a twit. Super chats and the people that are buying the, the full stack shirt, all the merch that we do. It's a great song. Really like the three monetary ways. So. Tars, so what's your favorite? Your favorite what's your favorite Deep Purple song? This is important. This is important. Send. Come on. Chris G to Koru to. Ginger is pretty good drummer, but I don't know do really awesome drummers. things like send Brady to photograph and, and film. Tom Brady? No, Provost. he's talking about Brady Keniston. Rammstein. Good call, Gold. Lab Padre is taking pictures of the drone, taking pictures of the spaceship. Ship get stacked on this booster with, with the Sid, Sid the first very chill. He streams on Twitch and plays GTA awesome. while answering so some space flight so questions. Like no Captain way, Captain Forge. That's cool. How do we not know about this? Don't hate this picture. I like that picture thank a lot. Johnny, thank you so much for the support and a generous amount there. Saying uh, thanks for the. I'd be in a rush to say yes. Nice. Phil Collins is a pretty good drummer. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Frank. And again, I just. Yeah, like Genesis, man. Genesis is good. Is, good band. Cheap and inadequate compared to how I. She's flying under the radar. Who do you got on Sunday? Rams. I have to. Right. If Remo's a Lions fan, and I'm kind of a Lions fan. It's really, I'm really happy to see Stafford there. So we're gonna root for the Rams. But with that being said, I wouldn't mind if Joe Burrow wins the Super Bowl. That, cause Joe Burrow is. So, is unintentionally the most hilarious so person I've ever also, seen. Super generous. Says in the same event, thank you for the great Bill. Tars, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where was your last? Not totally sure. Personally, Pla okay. Olive in Rock would probably take the top. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Plasmator? Plasmator? Next weekend, yeah. Max, yeah. With or this weekend, yeah. Super chat. That was go the Stafford, go Rams. All right, all right. I think we talked about that earlier. Thank you so much, Plasma. Space Trucking? Oh, uh, Neff, hell yeah. Just, just hell yeah. yeah. Space Trucking! Like, we danced around the Borealis. We Space Trucking round the stars. Come on! Come on! Do 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 Every little bit helps, and just thank wait you. A minute, wait 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 a minute. Playing this small piece of space flight history with us. It's really cool that we're able to. Once again. Interesting I'll, spoon. I'll shut up now, I saw it, Bandit, yeah. Because of support from y'all. So thank you so much. Yeah, Hibbit, I know, really. <laughs> also, what cars are in the background? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Looks like we are still enough. I'd have to look, I'd have to really look at the picture, Bandit. Like Hang on a second. We are right now. Yeah. As we expected, right? Like uh, all of these things. Uh, yeah, yeah Harp, I'm with you on that one. Now, just like any other, just like any other. Have you heard fools? I think so. Yeah. Atlas Five. It didn't go as quickly as it, as it just did. Last I can't 
play it. But... <laughs> We're lowering into position, guys. Space trucking oh, every day. Come on. So Highway Star. Uh, that's that song's the most popular one, though. But I always like burn. Burn it down, burn down, burn it down, burn it down, burn it down. Seem to be. In the final stages of stack, and that is stack spelled S. -S stack me, let's go. Yeah, Prove that. Child in time. No, it's it's a it's good a, call, Joe Sean. Know, good know. call. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> strangers. Yeah, burn. Still in me. Yes. It's burn. It approved. One or two minutes. Boo, doo, doo, doo. Is this history in the making? Very slow at this point, but it moved down. Alex, what's up, man? You seeing this, dude? You know what it looks <laughs> Unreal, like? dude. We're having a party you know, in I'm here, man. Watch it like ten more times before I say this. We we're talking about we we're talking about good music, you know. A wise man once said, "Ain't nothing but a party. Ain't nothing but a party. Ain't nothing but a party. Ain't nothing but a house party." Words to live by. Six have moved independently of the ship at all, or has it just moved so little that it's almost? Not quite possible to see. Yeah, I agree, Turkey. Profound. Yeah. And like nothing but a party, nothing but a house party. Really tough call. Profound. Let me add that to my LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, Turkey. What an amazing band. Ian, was, was ist das? Hold on. Hold on. Get out of here. I hit myself in the hat. I don't care. Doesn't matter. What is this? Oh, Mikey's got a time lapse here. He probably hates that I call him Mikey. Let's see. Uh, so Jason is asking. Um, oh, that is dope. From the flaps. Um, <laughs> what the frick? Oh, that's so cool, man. Just below the flaps, right where there's a What the frick? What in the balls? Where the actual ship is lifted up. But that's not. That's not. How does you? I. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh my god, this is insane. Yeah, they're not. They're the load points are actually indentions in the. Indentions, yeah. Yeah, they're they're indentions in the side of the ship. There's a little hole in the heat tiles, and then uh, a little pin from the chopsticks actually goes into that hole to provide some. <sighs> Here, I have a picture of it. At least I think I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the catch, that's exactly what I was thinking. I just Here. So you, everybody asked, like they were talking about it on NSF. I figure I'll show it. Check this out. Look, there's a pin on the chopstick, and it's, it looks like a trailer hitch, and that thing hits into the side of Starship. It looks like a robot. I definitely think that this counts as a robot. Yeah, it's a robot. It's 100% a robot. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely Check right. this out. Okay. Okay. This is beautiful. This is like bringing a tear to my eye. Yeah. Drones, We've seen this already. Oh my god. I know I'm <laughs> Yeah, we, we saw that. Yep. You're, you're oh, gonna we're good. See we're it. good. I'm ready. I'm ready whenever. All right, let's do oh, this. Can't wait to see this. So here is, uh, if you've been with us the entire time, almost just over two hours if I had to guess right now, um, here is what we've seen all evening. This is from one of our cameras. This is the camera down south. Yeah, Maybe there's the attachment really points. Cool. And this is the time lapse <laughs> of everything that we've seen so far. Look at that. All right, play by play. Ship in position, ship lifted. It goes up, it pauses, it goes up more, it rotates into position. Pivot! Pivot! All the drones flying around are hilarious. Yeah, right? Just whipping around. And then I believe we had a QD emplacement. There There's we go. There's the QD. The claws engage. Or give them the clamps. Yep, give them the clamps. Oh, then and it's going to replay. <laughs> beautiful. That is that is absolutely 
100% beautiful. Skull starts in 20. I love and the drones. So I'm leaving this party with the, the with the gift. Right Enjoy. Everywhere are crazy. Oh, dude, we saw I, that. I, we I, looked I, at this for Space I, News. Did you I, see that thing? The beach hadn't been. We closed. lifted the damn crane uh, up to get some long exposures of those drones whipping around. Oh yeah, like trails oh in the sky. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like I that, Aiden. Yeah. I weep. Hopefully for future stacks, when it's uh, a little bit safer and the more of a... They're in South Beach. Did you see that? They can be less restrictive with the uh, with the closures there. Yeah, yeah. For the Orbiter, there. Orbiter, Orbiter dark side down. Stick. <laughs> is that, what is that, VLC? Sid tweet. Yeah, let's All explain right. it in VLC. Good old VLC. Good old VLC. I haven't updated recently. I probably should do that. Touch is imminent. What an amazing clip. So you can see on the right... Uh, all right, I'll load up Lab Padre on the other. I think I had it up, but I X'd out of it for something else. Just now, which, holy wow. Oh my goodness. I'm just like, I'm just stunned. That was, that really it, it illustrates looks, what we've seen. It, it looks like a clean thing. It's yeah, Max, like, she's super close. Whoa, 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 like, maybe that much. That the other, it, it literally looks like a big automated system that's designed to do this. And I guess that's because it is designed to do this. That's literally what it's for. So it just, it looks so smooth. Of course, that's very Yeah, the good. drone's just peeping what, it, huh? Uh, yeah, but this we had on is that. really amazing. Time not important, was, only but, stack uh, it important. It looks super smooth. Like that whole process just looks so well engineered. Yep, it really, really does. Um, and Let's make sure we're caught up to speed, yep. Because nothing like this has been built before or operated before. Tiles, what, 10 to 12? Yeah, Max, yeah, something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, I don't know. Today, today, yeah, cool uh, yeah, like eight, eight inches, eight, nine um, inches, something like that. So uh, that's uh, really uh, uh, like 23 like, centimeters, 22, 23 centimeters, somewhere in there. This will speed up more and, and I suspect that what we've seen tonight is on the slow side, like if it's spectrum. Yeah, they're going slow, that's what Sid said, look, yeah. Uh, you know, five years from now, when they're stacking ships on boosters, I imagine it's a you know sub twenty minute process. I could be that's right, Aiden. Uh, completely wrong, but it would make sense. This is the first time they've ever done this, so it would make sense that they you know take their time. Even though it did most yeah, the drone went away. You know, very fast, uh, but I could only see it going faster in the future. I also really didn't I go too slow today. No, uh, but, but you're right. Honestly, you're, you're right. Dude, I can't believe that they integrated I, I this thing this quickly. I mean, now keep in mind, this was just Starship's integration, not super heavy, but I mean, you saw how fast they did that. That thing's supposed to do that with super heavy. It's supposed to take super heavy up and put it down, and it's supposed to automatically clip onto the pad. It's attached. It's not attached. It's got a little bit of a gap, drummer, like a couple inches at best. How long has this taken? Gee, you got to see this, man. They, dude, it, it it was moving fast enough for you to be able to like see it. Watch. So I backed up. I backed this up a little bit. Look, this is not sped up. That's nuts, man. That's really fast, dude. Starship got up. Starship got up to 500 feet in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it got up to the top. They stopped halfway. They they stopped like right around here. And uh like here, I'll, I'll this is every 10 seconds, right? So that's 10 seconds. So they stop for a second here and then they finish it up. Watch. Like So 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 1 minute, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 2 minutes, 10, 20, 30. It took 2 minutes to go up 200 feet. That's really fast considering how big that thing is. And then they crowned it. It's all, Well, it's almost there. It's not totally in yet. I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, okay, new Sid tweet hit it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm 
Sid saying, touch is imminent. Okay. That was a couple minutes ago. What is the mechanism that locks them together? Which mechanism do you want to see, Mab? You want to, you want to know how Starship you want to know how Starship attaches, dude? Here, I'll show you. Uh, that's the speed, sped up footage. That's the arms. There's Sid's tweets. Uh, Forge, I X'd out of it again. Sid says stack is complete. Whoa. That's crazy. Um, so, Mab, are you talking about Starship and Super Heavy? Super Heavy has a bunch of clamps that are kind of like, like if this is the ring right here, there's clamps that go up and they, they, they latch on to Starship. Uh, so, like, if the bottom of Starship is here, so, like, if you cut Starship in half and this is the bottom, so the engine would be, like, right here... There's a little clamp that comes up and, and grabs the, the bottom rim of Starship from the inside. Uh, Tango Delta. Yeah. Green check. Arms have to be able to accommodate those types of things. So Let's see if they separate the arms. They, uh, Let's see if they pull the arms off. Test if the systems are ready for that. So... To load testing, so Starship is stacked according to SpaceX. There you go. If you let up, let's go to the moon, baby. Yep. That sounds like music in my eyes. Uh, yes, my eyes. They're going to pull the arms off? Are you sure? Music are you eyes. telling me or are you asking, man? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kaiser. See you, buddy. He's invented a new way to say pictures. <laughs> pictures. <laughs> pictures. I use it. It's pictures, but complicated. That is, uh, that happened a lot more quickly than I thought. I mean, it feels like they have a, enough time today to do it a few more times this evening. I'll just take it down, put it down <laughs> again, go back up again, put it back up. I mean, practice makes perfect, right, SpaceX? We'll keep the cameras on. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> again, yeah, the drone's quick, back. I really, there's not very much of that line, Jack. Uh, I think you called it pretty, pretty clearly there. There's not that bright light, the bright line on the bottom of the ship anymore at all. In either one of the views, it does look like that sort of melded away as they they made contact there. But it's oh, not map. <laughs> progress. It's not making any motion anymore. It looks like uh, I'm very curious if the chopsticks are going to sag any. Like when they actually drop it down, will the back end move separately from the ship? Will we see that before it's actually disconnected? Yeah, if like, and I can't figure that one out, dude. I have no idea. Yeah, you're asking, dude. That's a question for Sid, not me. <laughs> I have no idea how they're gonna catch a starship with that thing. I don't know how that's gonna happen. How are you gonna catch it with the pegs? How is that even, gonna... dude? If they can get that precise, then Sid says not to pop the bottles yet. What's she saying? So this is uh, one of the engineers that's working on. For the first step, Don't pop the bottles yet. The load yeah. must hold. Well, and, and the okay. The presentation tomorrow, right? You, you know yeah. that this is, this is clearly going to feature, you know, in, in, in a very prominent way. Yeah, and maybe AJ. I guess it would depend on like. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, then, then, won't we? You know, what do they think safety-wise? Do you take the chopsticks off? I mean, there, there, there is that sort of added element. Of so, you... what they're doing is they're load testing this. They're keep it keep a sharp eye. Let's see if they lower the arm a little, the chopsticks a little bit, and see if they lower it. Why? Because we know that the chopsticks, in order to 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 pick up Starship, they need to they need to put the pegs into the slots on the side of Starship, and the the, the holes for it is slotted, so they have to they have to put it in the slots, and then they have to pick it up. So. Let's see if the arms go down a little bit. If they go down a little bit, that means they unhooked it. Just a teeny weeny bit. And they'd have to un unplug this thing. So that's what we're going to want to look for. But they're going to lower it just a little bit right now. 
And the reason why they're going to lower it a little bit right now, as Sid said, like this isn't anything that I that anybody doesn't know by looking at the tweets. They're going to load test. They got to make sure the super heavy can hold Starship. Um, and once they do, and once they verify the load, then maybe then maybe it'll work. Yeah, you can see the three pins on super heavy. Thanks, man. Here, check it out. Mab, see these things? They grab onto the rim, to the rim of Starship. You see that? Because Starship looks like this, and they, they stack it on top, and then these things kind of move up into position, and they clamp it down. I bet the anxiety in there is super high. Hey, the science, dude. Got to trust, well, not trust the science. You got to trust the data. It's engineering. It's not sci it's not science. This is engineering. You got to trust the data. You got to look at the numbers. You got to you got to be sure that the numbers are what you thought they would be. If they're not, then you let them off the hook. They are who we thought they were. Playoffs? 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 It's not about playing another game. From booster 8, those will be on the ships. Interesting. When do they auto strut? The whole thing is auto strutted. Bagel, they, they picked it up. They picked it up. Nobody's at the pad. They picked it up remotely. That's that's the part that's blowing my freaking mind, dude. They picked this up by itself. No one's no one's at the pad. The road's closed. They they're doing this from a from a shed down the street with a computer. Sid tweeted, "What's Sid saying?" Realign. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Chris B. Chris B is probably tweeting. Chris is probably tweeting at work, going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> okay, looks like they got to go for a realign here. Um, I know. Gosh, I mean, the queue goes all the way back to. They've stacked ship twenty and booster four before. Were they not letting it fully rest on the mounts? But let me hit some of the recent ones here. Falcon nine block. They never tensioned it off the crane, did they, Buck? I don't remember. And did Starship have the vac motors in it when they did it before? That's my question. Found the old ship catching tweet. Thanks, AJ. Interesting. Okay, AJ. Yep, yep. Yes, it had all of its engines on. Okay. They never unhooked it from the crane, so maybe they never put a full load on it. Last time the 11350 held the weight the entire time. That's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, Thomas, that's what makes the most sense. They wouldn't be doing load testing now if they had already load tested it previously, right? But, so, some pretty interesting thing to extrapolate from that. If they're load testing, where are these sensors? Where are these sensors located? What are they on Starship? Starship isn't hooked up to anything. It's just hooked into the chopsticks. We never saw we never saw anybody come out there and hook up the wires to Starship. So Starship is not Starship's a dud right now. Twenty is a dud. That means Super Heavy is powered. Super Heavy's powered on right now. There, there's no. How would they be getting? How would they be getting load data without that? Without that information, Super Heavy's on. It's powered up. It, it, it's we know that the tail service mast umbilical is hooked up. You can see it right there. The launch mount is powering super heavy. Super heavy's online, and they have load sensors in there. The mount. What about the mount? Super Heavy is hooked up. This thing doesn't have any electrical connections unless Starship's plugged in yet. No, it's not plugged in. Yeah, maybe, Mason. If Starship if Starship is indeed powered on, but I don't know. It might be. All right, drummer. See you, buddy. Well, that means, the, like, okay, so the, the, the point that I'm trying to get at, guys, is that Super Heavy's, Super Heavy's powered on. It's powered on right now. There's no other way you'd be getting that load information. You'd want more detailed load information from here and from the mount. You guys are right. So that means the pad, not only is the pad online, obviously we could tell that because it lifted it, right? But the mount's online and Super Heavy is online as well.
So that's pretty neat, man. Like on the other side, so you have no chance to get behind the QD with the chopsticks. Load test data would be from the bottom more than starship. Yeah, it, well, Mutter, I would be looking at the forward skirt. I would be looking at this, this thing right here. And also at the bottom of the pad. That's where I'd be looking. I don't know much about this. Why is it important? So, Moose... Okay, what measuring system do you choose, Imperial or Metric? Before I before I tell you what's going on. Either or. Okay, I'll use my favorite. Starship is about 30 feet wide. The, the, the cylinder section of Starship is about 30 feet wide. This thing is about 150 feet tall. The tower is 500 feet tall. The chopsticks picked up Starship. It picked the damn thing up. This 150 foot tall second stage spaceship reusable that's 30 meter wide, or not 30 meters wide, 30 feet wide, 150 feet tall. They lifted it up. No one's at the pad. They lifted this thing up. They, they hitched it and they hitched it remotely and lifted it up and crowned super heavy. They're, they're, they're going, they're dealing with alignment problems right now, but this did this automatically. I mean, look at it go. Dude, this check this out this is not sped up right there that's how fast it's going so moose that no one's ever done that before you see that right there no one's ever done that before nobody's integrated a rocket remotely mission control is putting the rocket together spacex mission control is putting this thing together right now from down the street it's absurd. It's absurd that they're doing that. It put together the freaking rocket automatically. Like that. On top of you know lifting one of the biggest up the big if one of the biggest if not the biggest upper stage ever devised by man, just lifting it up, whatever. Moose, it's really important because this is the first time they've done this. They used the launch pad completely automated and put a stack together, dude. Look, it's together. I mean, they're still, they still have to mess with the alignment a little bit. But why not assemble a rocket from the Earth that's on the moon? Ice King, assembling a rocket from the Earth that's on the moon is like saying, I'm going to drive to Florida from Maine, but I'm going to stop in Michigan because it's shorter. No. No, no, it's not. It's just how how spaceflight works, dude, is it's very... You just, you need a certain amount of energy to get to the moon. So, say you need, I don't know what the C3 is to get to the moon. Say a rocket needs to be accelerated 25,000 miles an hour. 25,000 miles an hour will get you somewhere near the moon. If your rocket can go from zero to 25,000 you can get to the moon, right? So building up there really doesn't make any sense. What does make sense is sending a bunch of machines and manufacturing the ship up there. But sending the ship up there in pieces and then like trying to assemble it on the surface of the moon, that makes no sense. The lower pins have unlocked. Okay. Thanks for the explanation. It's all being done on a massive scale. Like I said, Moose, 50-story building. This tower is 50 stories tall. Next time you're driving in through a city and you see a 50 story building, that's how tall that is. Yeah, Forfa, it's truly insane. I love it. Dude, I love it. I love SpaceX. It's so damn cool, man. Lab Padre doesn't show the... Oh, no, the pin is out, dude. Okay, so, guys, they've separated the lower pins. So, see these things right here? See that See that guy right there? They've separated these things. Those things kind of are like this, and then they move out away from the chopsticks. So, this kind of, like, pivots out this way. towards. It pivots towards us. The pins are out. If the pins are out, that means they're going to unlock this, and the chopsticks are going to separate. How much longer are we supposed to be using the ISS? 2030. 
See the pins right there? See how they have the light shining on the pin? Are they launching or just assembly? Hosen, they're testing it. They're testing assembly. The reason why they're testing assembly is because there's a huge Starship presentation tomorrow at 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, 8 p.m. Central. There's a huge Starship presentation, and they wanted it stacked. So they wanted to get this equipment tested. Uh-oh. I have, Clutch. You see it lifting that boat? Isn't that, isn't that cool, dude? Physics, man. Oh, no. Das! That's really cool. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a hiccup. I'm the robot. I'm the robot. Yeah, I want to see the stars. We saw the stars going past in the background. And I want to see the time lapse of the stars sort of wheeling across the sky as they stack the ship. That's going to be really cool, I think. A little bit of a hiccup All right, there. Flaken, good night. Um, if you can hear me now and you're at a low bit rate, you might need to refresh the page. Weird thing that YouTube does when there's a hiccup like that, sometimes it's... We're okay, so they're aligned. P, which is like three pixels per Sid, who's the engineering lead at SpaceX's Advanced so, uh, Project Decision... Uh, advanced uh, Projects Division, so if you see it confirms that uh, if you read Starship stacking in the they're okay. You may need to refresh your monitor, you refresh the page, because we had a little bit of a hiccup, and YouTube sometimes doesn't do a great job of recovering from that for some people. Now, if you can't hear the sound of my voice, you wouldn't know to do that. So maybe somebody in chat type F5 if you need to uh, get resolution. It's not science, Clutch. Those it's engineering, drones are baby. Still going around. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I feel no, like it's freaking awesome. Like yes, science. Spotlights <laughs> or something for this. Like it's it's really remarkable the extent to which they are visible tonight. I know, Buck. And that it, it's dude, point look, man. I've fiddled a lot with pads. I know enough about this to know how difficult it is to do something like that. Yeah, I've only made launch pads in KSP. I get it. I understand. But I've read a lot about how GSE works and how integration works to make those pads in KSP. That is insane, what that thing just did. Yeah, Ozzy's around, Firework. Imagine if you actually had to do all the plumbing in KSP. Oh, Max, I would rise to the challenge, baby. That'd be awesome. It would make my day, man. The booster. That's booster for the full system in place. We know the booster has engines. We know the Starship has engines. We've got the QD arm. We've got the grabby claw stabilization. I agree, Forfa. I'd love it and We've hate it at the same time. <laughs> Imagine if you, if you had to get into engine plumbing. If you had to get into engine plumbing, then KSP would be really difficult. Like, really difficult. That's the hardest part, dude. Maybe in KSP, too. Yeah. <laughs> the engine plumbing is... Complicated. <laughs> kind of like Stormworks? Oh. Uh, really close yeah. Here. But all of our cameras stay live over there on Starbase Live. We have some ambient microphones listening to the sound of the winds and raves. But that is where we are going to leave you this evening. Really quickly, just I'm going to run through the list. Adrian Beal, thank you so much for joining us. Chris Gebhardt was out there as well. He's on site. Um, we've got Jack Byer. Jack, you are awesome as always. A good time. Um, we had no Ian problem, Taco. coming through earlier as well. Michael Baylor was operating the stream this evening, and then as always, never forget our photographer. Let's, uh, take a look. I'll, I'll rewind it for you, man. Look at this. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, no. You get to see this. Watch. Mike Baylor over at NASA Spaceflight did a time lapse. Watch this. What the frick? What the fr what the frick? What's what's Sid saying? What's she up to? Direct message filling in, f filling with pressure questions. Not pressurized. Limited load test. Sticks will stay in place. Got it. All right. Let's go. Let's click on the NASA NSF live.
Can I, hold on, can I, can I just, can I just, can we just watch this again, please? Can I, can I just watch this again? What the frick? What the frick? What the, what the frick? What the were you freaking fricks? When will you learn? I don't even know what to say. I, I, was, I ran out of I ran out of cool things to say like three hours ago, man. I don't. What, what the frick? Remotely integrating a rocket. I'll be damned. All right, firework. They just put the, just put the damn thing to get. Look at what the. F so the sticks will be in place until it's pressurized. That seems it seems that way, Harp. This is it. I wonder how long it would take total to integrate and fuel it. Come on. Uh, Okay, so let's let's do some quick math out, right? Like how long how long did it take to do this? How long did it take to do that? Uh, so let me just look through let me look through the YouTube thumbnail from the live camera. Dude, they stacked this thing. We're at minus four. They stacked it. Look. They stacked this in three hours. Now, keep in mind, that's not including super heavy. So, they could stack this in a day, I would say. Uh, I would say stacking would take a day maximum, not including payload operations. So, maybe two days for payload operations at this point. You could consolidate that process down. I know you could. Just from, just from what I know about GSE. I mean, like, it's not just making pads and Kerbal, guys. I read all kinds of stuff about umbilicals and, and pressurizing systems and everything. Like, I read all... Dude, all, I read NASA's technical archive for fun. Um, the, yeah, uh, you could do this in a day, Kim. They could get it down to a day per launch. If they get the thing back. But yeah... Yeah, two, three hours, Ryan, to do... Yeah, so th three hours to get that done is nuts. To go from that, from what you just saw to that, in three hours is insane. That's insane. That's faster than any... No one's fast. No one's this quick. Nobody. And the stacking would be faster once they start catching. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's truly on the another level, man. Do you know Ruto run through it? Well, Starship ha does have its wings folded back, RB, so yes, absolutely. Duh. What's the world record for stacking? I don't. Th it's so slow, Revel, that there's never been a world record. Is it officially fully stacked? Yep. Yeah. They aren't taking the chopsticks off. I had a I had a suspicion that they probably wouldn't, but I, I I did say that they would. So I was kind of thinking in the back of my mind I wouldn't want to undo Starship right now. And Sid said that it was because it's not pressurized. Starship is not it's not pressurized. Um, so that's not the reason that I thought. I thought if there's any misalignment and you undo those chopsticks that you're not going to be able to get them hooked up again, but. We got a new new tweet. I know it's not a true comparison, but how long did it take to stack SLS one? Eight months. Elon might want him off for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. When launch? March. I would say March, guys. 
Depends on the programmatic assessment. Kind of helps that your rocket's only two pieces. Yeah, for sure, Core. You can't really compare it to SLS, guys. Two, two different testing architectures. Two different types of rockets. You know? Uh, Mogu, it'll get to that point, eventually. March 20th? No, F Fractal, everything is going okay. They had some initial misalignment problems when they went to Crown Super Heavy with Starship, but yeah, everything seems okay now. And that's just... That's from one of SpaceX's princi like, uh, principal engineers here. She was tweeting through all the steps. I didn't. We didn't figure this out until like around here somewhere. Did you watch any of Lab Padre's cams? No, I haven't watched Lab Padre, Padre on stream. But with that being said. I got them open over here along with Discord. <laughs> Definitely got it open on the side. Good thing there's random clicking. <laughs> now that's some good ASMR. It's the turn signal for the truck. <laughs> oh yeah, ASMR that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Sid, is set, Sid says she's pivoting to data duties, whiskey, and sleep after. Amazing to see so many of you excited about this step. I got it. I'm going to reply. I'm going to reply. Thanks for keeping us in the loop. You're awesome. As he breaks the replacement turn signal. Facha, don't give me that crap. Don't give me that crap, man. Now, this is the turn signal for the truck because the wipers were all messed up. See? So. This is the uh, windshield wiper controller is broken. And then you have the hazard lights and stuff. Fanboy vibes. Hey, that was super helpful. That's scum. That I'm not the only one that plays with the car parts. Dude, here, you want some ASMR stuff? Look, here's the key barrel. Ready? Yeah, 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 I know. True, just joshing. Yeah, whatever. You gotta lick it? Lick it, I dare you. Nah, I'm good. It's some good clicks right there. Here, I'll give, give the turn signal one more time. Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> tight like a tiger. Yes, you're very tight. You, I can tell from your tight bench. All right, guys. I think I'm going to pack it in. Everybody else packed it in, so I think we're done. Man, was that cool. I am so happy we were here for that. Smoking a pancake, piping a crepe, bonging a blinch, bonging a blinch. So, guys, uh, I'll be back here at um, actually a little bit before noontime tomorrow. Uh, I'll be here a little bit before noontime uh, because uh, we have a, there's a rocket launch. There's a rocket launch. There's actually two rocket launches tomorrow. 
We have one, actually, no, all right. Uh, one web is at 109, so we have a Soyuz launch out of Baikonur, 31.6 out of, at launch complex 31.6 in Baikonur, and then Astra has their VCLS2 demo tomorrow. So we could potentially see two, well, let's be real, Soyuz, Soyuz is going to go, and it's going to be awesome. And then we have the VCLS2 demo, and then I'm playing Tarkov with Taradra tomorrow, and yeah, a bunch of other things. I'll try to get some cities in, because we did play Summer Car tonight, so... We got that. We got that out of the way. We still have to fix that fiasco in Summer Car, but yeah. Hype Mayor, no. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember the the stream that I had on was my buddies over at NASA Space Flight. Uh, you know they let they let us watch their stream. They don't let that. They don't let everybody do that. I don't know how they let a moron like me watch it, but they do. So okay. Um. Yeah, so make sure you go over there and give them a sub. Like, I still can't figure that one out. And they're like, yeah, you're good. I'm like, oh, really? All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see who we can raid. Who's out and about? Ah. There's not, not many people around right now. It's a, it's a little bit late, so. I'm just going to... Well, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look. Take a look. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep tonight. There's not anybody around, so have a good night, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the coverage. Oh man, we got a lot to talk about the Starship presentations tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, wait a minute. We're not getting cities in tomorrow because I'm playing Tarkov with Tarada. So it's gonna be Tarkov, Tarkov, and Starship presentation and rocket launches tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a good night. I Try to get some sleep, man. Try to. I, I'm i not. That, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> but anyway. Starship is stacked with chopsticks by itself. Get, hold on. Can, just... Sorry, I know this is like Oscars. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, right? But just... What the frick? Bruce, he's... Dude, I don't mean to kiss his ass on stream. It's late, so I'll just... I don't, I'll be candid. I don't mean to kiss Elon's ass on stream, but god damn, is that guy my hero. Like, I get it. He says some fucked up things from time to time, but... I look I look up a lot to him. I, I look I look up to him a lot. Sorry, I can't even speak straight, dude. Yeah, dude, he's pretty big inspiration, man. His work ethic is what what I admire. The guy works. He works his ass off all the time, 100%. He gives 120% every freaking day. Runs like three companies. One of them just did that. Like the other one just mass produces electric electric cars. All right. Guy fucking works his ass off, man. Puts his money where his mouth is. I really appreciate that. It's re it's refreshing, you know what I mean? I mean, I personally... Dude, like, once again, I I can see why people don't like him. I, I get it, but... God damn, is he cool. Oh, it, it, it's amazing. It's so freaking inspiring. It, like, did you see what we just saw? Unbelievable. And this is only the beginning, dude. It's only the beginning. Like, look, I'm sweating. I'm having such a good time. I'm sweating over here. Unbelievable. Yeah, Bruce, I'm with you on that one. So, yeah, yeah, people. People don't like people that are successful, man. It is what it is, dude. Like, I try to be impartial when I'm analyzing, you know, what he does and what SpaceX does, like, especially with the engineering, but... What we just saw was, dude, quite literally one of the fucking coolest things I've ever witnessed. That that that's so cool. They picked they picked it up remotely. They picked it up remotely. They they, they put a rocket together with no one on the pad. I 
like, that's the kind of stuff you do in Kerbal. That's the kind of stuff you mess we mess around with in KSP. You don't do that in real life. They just did. Don't get a heart attack? Nah, I'll be good, man. I'll be good. Man, no, no, wait. That's fine. You look at that. Like, here's the, here's the thing. No, honestly, I love Elon Musk. I, he's a personal hero of mine. I look up to him a lot. I really do. I don't get bent out of shape when people don't like him. Which is, I see that a lot. People, anytime people say something bad, no, nope, no, you're wrong. Elon's the best. Like, dude, I get it. People don't like him. But the fact that, like, people like, you know, like, they, uh, like, they don't like it when when anybody says anything bad. Like, that's a little weird. Like, dude, everybody gets criticized. Everybody. See, the thing is, I'll be honest with you, I don't think Elon cares. I don't think he gives a fuck what people think. <laughs> I really don't. Why do you think he would tweet the stuff that he tweets? I don't think he gives a fuck. I really don't. I think he cares about the science and the engineering, and that's about it. <laughs> I think he does that to stir the pot, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't speak for him. I'm not him. You know? But, like I said, I'm not going to get bent out of shape if people don't like him. You know what I mean? People, people aren't going to like him, of course. And it's not. It certainly isn't my job to freaking do PR for him. You know what I mean? Even though I kind of do. Like, it's not my... It's not my place to defend his character. I think his work speaks for itself, you know? But if you don't like him, like, I get it. That's totally cool. I'm not going to freak out and be like, if people don't like him, it's all right. He is an enterprise-grade professional ship poster. Indeed. Did NASA load payloads into shuttle at the pad? Depends on what type of payload, MC. Some payloads needed to be vertically integrated, so the shuttle had a huge rotating service structure. I'll show you before I log off, real quick. The shuttle had a huge rotating service structure that would pick up payloads and put them in the shuttle. So, like, when the shuttle was rolling out to the pad, right, there's no service equipment on this. You couldn't put a tower on this side because when the shuttle takes off, it could hit the tower. So they put the tower off to the side instead of directly behind it. Right? So on, it's on the side, and you have your crew access arm. This is your has gas line over here. There's your oxygen evac system called the beanie cap. And then see this pin right here? That one? That's attached to the RSS, the rotating service structure. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. I'm, yeah, right here. See this whole thing from here, from the pin over? That whole thing rotates on a track. See the track that goes across the flame trench right there? The whole thing rotates in position and this is a door. This doorway has those brackets on it. You see those brackets? Those brackets attach to these yellow brackets on the space shuttle. So the whole thing closes. The whole thing rotates into position. And the door clamps to the shuttle's payload bay doors. And they can open it up. Inside of this rotating service structure, RSS, inside of the RSS is a hangar. There's a hangar where they can stage payloads. It has a bridge crane and everything. There's a crane. There's a Ganger crane that moves back and forth towards us and away from us in this picture. They could sit here with the payload, they pick it up with the RSS, load it in the, in the, into the RSS, rotate the whole damn thing, latch onto the shuttle, open its doors, put the payload in, close the doors, move the RSS away, and then launch. It's, the RSS is gigantic, dude. It's like, it, it was big, very big. They're both gone. They've, they demolished both of them. Um, but yeah. If you go type in pad 39A, uh, here, there you go. See? Yeah, there, this is an entire mobile integration facility, and it rotates, and there's a little, it's on a train track, believe it or not, and it rotates into position. This thing rotates on that pin, and it loads the space shuttle, pay, it loads the space shuttle payload bay for vertically integrated payloads. So if, if you needed a vertically integrated payload, Air Force, you could pick it up, they could pick it up, load it in the hangar, rotate the whole thing into position, load it into the shuttle, rotate it out, launch. Otherwise, payloads were put into the shuttle in the OPF, so horizontally. Hey, Navy vet, what's going on? CGN. Dude. 
Do a tour on the Long Beach or something, Navy, or what? <laughs> Nuclear guided missile cruiser, CGN, am I right? That's cool, man. How you doing, buddy? Bigger than the chopsticks. It is. South Carolina. Yeah, you're right, right on, man. Hey, you're catching me at the tail end, though. But, uh, yeah, that's cool, man. Good stuff. So the RSS is the closest thing to operations at the pad besides actually launching it. SpaceX just stacked an entire rocket at the pad. Yep. <laughs> yep. Discovery, go at throttle. Hey, you got gifted a sub. Hell yeah. Thanks, Brendan. I appreciate that. <laughs> 